Louis Black, live on stage. Hard Rock Live Orlando, Saturday, December 7th. Get tickets this Friday at 10 a.m. at the Hard Rock Live box office and Ticketmaster.com. Help DEA keep our community safe and healthy by participating in National Prescription Drug Take Back Day, Saturday, April 27th. Take action right in your own home by cleaning out your medicine cabinet of unneeded medications. Keep them safe, clean them out, take them back. Find a collection site near you at DEATakeBack.com. Do your part to lower overdose deaths and prevent prescription drug misuse before it starts. That's DEATakeBack.com. Sneezing, coughing, a stuffy nose, runny nose, post-nasal drip, interrupted sleeping. I just I was groggy at the end of the day. Allergies and sinus congestion were making Jana miserable. Then, a friend recommended Navage. Navage provides immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus germs and other airborne irritants. Navage helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel your best right away. Navage gave me instant relief. I didn't have to wait 30 minutes. I didn't have to wait an hour, 90 minutes. I didn't have to wait. I didn't have to wait a minute. I just, I ran the rinse and I felt immediately, I felt better. Stop suffering from congestion and start breathing and feeling your best again with Navage. N-A-V-A-G-E. I've had people ask me how I find relief and I tell them Navaj immediately. This thing is amazing. Navaj is available at Navaj.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. This is trial attorney Jeff Kaufman from the Injury Law from McCoffman Lynn. Dude, I'm behind you. I can see you texting on your phone. Put the phone down. You know it's a crime. In the state of Florida, it's actually a misdemeanor to get caught texting on your phone. I know you're going to claim you weren't, but either TikToking, Facebook, texting, I don't know what you're doing. But when you get home and you want to see a good TikTok, go to Kaufman Lynn. For more information, contact me at winnieedis.com or dial pound 546 on yourself. Officer Orlando. Sunnyside Plumbing. Yes, I've got a leaking... To leave us a testimonial saying how happy you are with our service, press 1. But you haven't even... For all other inquiries, please hang up. Wait, what? Hang up and call Frank Gay. We're busy watching the game. You know what? I think I will. When you have a leak, you need solutions on your schedule. A helpful expert who can find the problem and fix it fast. FrankGayServices.com. Close out prices. 0% APR financing. Rush to Sutherland Nissan Orlando today. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because your case matters. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Real Radio has your chance to win $1,000. Just enter this nationwide keyword on our website, cash, C-A-S-H, cash. Enter it now on our website at realradio.fm and answer your phone if you get the call. Good luck. High diving face first into the world's most viral newsroom. No. The secret shows, subscriber. 
Ellie Ridgeway, thank you for subscribing to the Uncensored Secret Shows and supporting over at thenewsjunkie.com. You can get in on the action, too. Go over to the website. You'll see where it says Secret Shows. If you subscribe, you'll see all the benefits that come along with it. And if you want to be audio only, it's only $2.99 a month. It's super cheap to get uncensored. Go do it right now. There's a, a, a ton of shows, 300 and some odd shows. Uh, and then even bonus shows, probably a total of 370 or so hours plus, maybe more than that. Go to thenewsjunkie.com and subscribe. A uh, new show recording tonight. Yeah. And oh if you're a secret show subscriber, one of the many different things that you get along with that is you can watch the show when we do it live. When myself, Celan, and Josh are recording a secret show, you can peer into the studio, full production HD, and... You do that by signing up first and then going to my account at thenewsjunkie.com and connecting to the fan discord. And there's a stage on the fan discord that we stream the show live on so you can watch it each and every week. Plus extra stuff that you don't end up seeing. Uh, all right, there we go. Uh, thanks to Ellie. Appreciate you. And thanks to everybody else Thank who's you. going over to thenewsjunkie.com right now. Josh, yes. would you like... Fifty thousand dollars. I would love that, actually. All right, fifty thousand dollars sounds good to you. What about you, Celine? Would you like fifty thousand dollars? I'd like more, please. Ah, uh, you're getting greedy. a little greedy. Getting a little mm, bit greedy. Is it? Will you take fifty grand? Yeah, I'd take fifty grand. All right. All you have to do is give me one thing. You give me twenty one grand. Thing. <laughs> I, I've, I've gotten this email before <laughs> I'm not a Nigerian prince This isn't a scam uh, This is just a simple, simple deal You give me one thing And it's not money And for that one thing I'll give you $50,000 Would right. you do it just on that alone? Or uh, would, would you have reservations? I'd like to know what the one thing is, please Of course you would You want to know what's behind door number one You're yeah. a curious individual I understand but both of you it's semen, are interested. It? It's not that. No, nope, it's not that. It's your kidney. I'm oh, gonna no, need, just one? I'm going to need one kidney for $50,000 because that is the market rate. That's actually what a kidney is worth. And there's continuing push, including an article on Vox.com this week, where they suggest that people should be able to sell their kidneys if they want to. And they said it could prevent 60,000 deaths every single year. It could save U.S. taxpayers, get this, $25 billion, with a B, dollars. $25 billion saved by the taxpayers and 60,000 lives saved. And all the people who might be in dire straits or might just be interested in helping somebody out can get $50,000 for selling their kidney. Is that right is that something you would allow were you to be in charge and if not why that's the question i posit to you today you can answer that go over to the newsjunkie.com i want to see what you think about this what do you guys think should people be allowed to do that if it if it is good if it prevents sixty thousand deaths according to some of the research if it saves taxpayers 25 billion dollars we can use that for something much better should somebody be able to sell their own kidney or is it inherently wrong and morally wrong because in almost all cases where somebody does this, they're going to be doing it out of desperation to try to get the money. What do you think uh, is the right answer to that conundrum? Mm. Uh, <laughs> uh, Stunned into pure silence. I feel like, you'd have to have some sort of oversight to make sure they're not going to use the money for drugs or whatever. Oh, okay. So your worry would be that a bunch of addicts, maybe even gambling well, addicts. Or even addicts. like if they're being coerced by someone whose business it is to get you to sell your kidney and mm -hmm. give them the money. Is there an equivalent that's already like that in illegal? I'm trying to think. Because you can't sell your organs in the United States of America. You're not allowed to do not that. Yet. Biden. Uh, <laughs> this is unbelievable. Uh, and Angel says no right answer. There is a right answer, though, isn't there? I mean, we let people do all sorts of stuff. Isn't it kind of mind-blowing? And I've ranted about this before. But isn't it kind of mind-blowing that if you're super rich in the United States of America, you can have another woman 
utilize her womb to bring your baby to term and then your body doesn't have to go through the pains of of birth and the entire process of being pregnant you could do that a person could say i'll put your baby in my body i'll put a human being inside me like some sort of weird human russian doll and i'll i'll be the container for your child to grow then when it's born when it comes from me, comes forth from my body, I'll hand the crying baby that I have had for nine months inside me over to you and you hand me a check. That's kind of crazy, but you can do that, right? We've deemed that to be okay, mm-hmm. but we won't let somebody sell Wait, the didn't kidney. didn't the Pope just recently say that there's something weird with that? I think he did. I think the Pope does not like this. Yeah, he's... He's against uh, uh, anybody uh, sort, of, sort of outsourcing the birth of their <laughs> their child, I guess. Now, I want to say something to, to make things very clear here from my perspective. There is a use for that. And if somebody medically is unable to bring a child to term mm-hmm. and another person out of the goodness of their own heart or even for financial gain wants to help that person out, that's fine with me, Right. I think rich people using poor people as wombs seems very similar to poor people selling their kidneys on some sort of open market. Or poor people doing drug trials. Sure. Yeah. And that's how that True. works too, right? They're, they're, mm. they're the guinea pigs in the system. And we're like, all right, we're okay with that. We're absolutely okay with that. And I think you have to be on one side or the other. I think you have to be down the line, flat out against it because it is inherently a predatory experience, or you have to say, we have to let humans do what they want. We have to let people do the things that they want to do. What do you think? Let us know. Go over to the news junkie.com. Will you guys sell your kidney for $50,000 or what? No, yeah, why I, not? I have a feeling I'm going to need my kidneys. All right. I got one though. Josh is probably healthier too. That thing's probably in good shape. Thank you. Take a lot of Advil, Josh. Not really. Mm, that's I good. just mm. suffer through the pain. Do you see Len? Uh, not not as much as uh, I used to. Yeah, uh, is it bad for your kidney if you take a bunch of those uh, Advils? Yeah, if you take too much. Uh, what uh, define too much? Because some weeks I <laughs> tilt into that territory, depending on how you I'm doing. You should not be taking more than four a day, I believe. Oh, I've never taken more than four. I usually only take one. No, Courtney, uh, Courtney will take like three. You can take more than four a day. How many are you taking, C Lane? My God. I've been, I've, I've been prescribed like horse pill Advil before. All right. Way really? back in the day. That's four in one. That's like an 800 milligram one pill, which they'll prescribe it to you. Uh, and the, the pharmacy will give you these horse pill Advils, or you could just take four. I, that, that, I don't, you know, whatever. I get, I get that they don't want to. What is just... this for? Is this for your hangover? No, I, I, I got prescribed it to me for uh, my knee. Uh, oh, way really? back in the day. Yeah. Uh, okay. So you, you've been testing this theory out here in real time. And they told me <laughs> I could take. Sea Land's a guinea pig for They told us. me I could take no more than. I mean, I mean you don't want to do this for a prolonged amount of time, but they told mm-hmm. me I could take no more than three of those a day, which is the equivalent of 12 regular Advils in a day. But you don't want to take more than four at a time. My God, 12 Advils. I feel like it will put me out for the count. My whole body would be. You don't like want to, you can't take jello. You, you don't swallow 12 Advil at a time. That's a highly, highly frowned upon. Oh, you know, I so they tell you just like over the course of the day, every uh, six hours or so, you take a little more, a little more, a little more. Yeah. Uh, I, that, that seems like a ride. That's a, a good time. <laughs> crazy drunk cat lady on tripping. YouTube. <laughs> so crazy drunk cat lady says, I think they're confusing Advil with Tylenol and Tylenol is hard on the liver, not kidneys. No, I have definitely heard it. Yeah, I, I've definitely heard it. Advil is bad for your kidneys. I've heard that before. I don't know so, uh, how true it is. Yeah, you're just uh, picking which one. I mean, both of them, I think, if you're, you got a headache, both of them are going to help your headache. It, one of them is going to process in your kidneys. The other is going to process in your liver. Mm-hmm. If you are a person who enjoys alcoholic beverages on, uh, on, on the regular, I yeah. would suggest that you take the Advil. Yeah. So, yeah. That we're, so that we're not putting all of the work Fair enough. on one organ. Fair enough. And you know what the hard truth is? The Don't absolute call me a doctor hard here. Truth. The hardest truth of all and the hardest pill to swallow. Everything you put in your body is bad for you. Everything. It's not things you put in there. It's like, this is great. Now your body. Everything Even you put water? In your body, 
even the water. <laughs> There's something I was you'll find ask. something wrong with it. You they'll be like too many damn electrolytes in this water. I don't know if that's possible, but they'll they'll suggest that's the case. Who is the mystery they? I don't know. We'll never know. Here is I'm Big a PC <laughs> talking or... about kidneys. Let's see what they say. Hello? Ah, uh, I got this right here. Here we go. Shut up and take my money, but that money better be tax free because I'm not paying the taxes on that if I'm giving up kidney, kidney. taxes. Yeah, it seems wrong. True. Kidney taxes you do f- seem wrong. I feel like the, the tax you pay is not having a kidney. True. Yeah. Here's Loki with a dispatch. Hey, junkies. Hey. Happy almost weekend. Uh, checking in. Uh, let's be honest here. Selling a kidney and that's saving $50 billion. That doesn't save us any money. The government's just going to put it into something else that most of us don't agree with. I mean, let's be real. Maybe, maybe not. We never get that money back. It never takes away from the deficit. What What if, Loki, I told you that we'll let people sell their kidneys for 50 grand and we'll utilize the $25 billion in American taxpayer savings to fix bridges in this country so we don't have infrastructure that sucks so bad that shipping container or container ships just taking them out with one one shot. Like what if I said that? I think people will go, yeah, I'm fine with Great that. Idea. Taxpayers, yeah, we'll fix the bridge. That's cool. We'll do that. I think people will be on board with that. There are things that most Americans agree with these days. There's most uh, Americans will agree on like some obvious stuff. It's only when you go into the fringes that you find so much disagreement because most of that is just fake nonsense anyhow. All right, Green Panda is talking about Jay-Z. Hey, guys, loving the show. Hey. hey, man, do you think a guy like Jay-Z is actually signing the bill? I mean, he's a billionaire, man. Do they even show it to him? Or does he have, like, two or three people below him that's like, hey, uh, I got that boss, and they kind of figure the money out for him, the tip, whatever. And he just, he's like, All right, y'all take care of that crap. I'll see you later. Peace. Anyway, have a great day, guys. Thank wiggle, you. Wiggle, wiggle. Very much could be the case that Jay-Z is not actually doing that work. He's got people who got people who got people, I would guess, at this point. What do you think? Let us know. And we're going to get into this new movie that Leonardo DiCaprio is in and whether or not they should be doing this to begin with. That is coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio is... Did you ever make a joke at TSA? No. I did it one time. I made her, I made her laughing their ass off. I, I was going through, and I said, hey, I've got leader hose, and it makes my nipples chafe. And, and man, they were wow. laughing. I mean, couldn't stop laughing. They thought that was the funniest thing I ever heard in their life. Scared douche. The monsters in the morning. Real Radio 104.1. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. Watch out for heavy delays westbound on I-4 between Sand Lake Road and State Road 535. There's still a bit of delays due to that earlier accident. It's off to the side now on Florida's Turnpike. Expect congestion between Scrub J Lane and Oakland Exchange. And authorities are clearing up an accident on Highway 1792 southbound between I-4 and Holden Avenue. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Rasmussen University. At Rasmussen University, we offer 50-plus programs from health sciences to business to nursing, online and on campus. Are you ready to rewrite your story? Learn more at rasmussen.edu. Are you bogged down with constant sneezing, watery eyes, and congestion? Do you get sinus headaches and infections? No one should have to suffer season after season. And thanks to Aspire Allergy and Sinus, treating your allergies is easier than you think. With personalized treatment plans tailored to your needs and budget, you can say goodbye to allergy and sinus issues for good. Book your appointment today at AspireAllergy.com. Aspire Allergy and Sinus, where relief is just around the corner. Aspire Allergy. Don't let spring allergies make you miserable. Try the quick drug-free solution trusted by over 4 million people, Navage. Only Navage uses suction to flush out your sinuses using refreshing saline, helping you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel healthier. And here's even better news. Navage is now available at your local Sam's Club in a great new value pack. It's everything you need to start breathing better immediately at Sam's guaranteed best price. Navage. N-A-V-A-G-E. Breathe easy. 
Orlando's top-rated comedy club and restaurant, the Improv Comedy Club, is becoming the funny bone. Enjoy the same great talent and awesome live comedy experience at Point Orlando. This week, the funny bone welcomes Namish Patel on April 19th and 20th. Followed by Marcelo Hernandez on April 26th through the 27th. Check out our star-studded calendar and showtimes online at orlando.funnybone.com. Home to the best comedic talent on tour nationally. Come get funny at the Funny Bone. Hi, everybody. It's Savannah Guthrie here with Hoda Kotb from the Today Show. You know that saying, you learn something new every day? Well, it is so true. Yes, every morning on Today, it's those little tips that can help save you time and improve your day. From the simplest ways to save money right now to incredible kitchen and cleaning hacks that you never knew existed. Just remember, see it, hear it, learn it on Today. Oh, that's genius. You just saved me 40 bucks. Every morning, right here on NBC. This is trial attorney Jeff Kaufman from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind. If you've been in a car accident, you need to know a term. It's called statute of limitations. That means you have two years from the time of the accident to actually file a lawsuit if need be. If you don't do that, you're going to lose your rights to the claim. Now, sometimes some lawyers will wait till the last minute to file or contact you with just about a month left saying that they don't know if they want to proceed with your case. Be careful with that. For more information, contact me at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546, Office Orlando. Help DEA keep our community safe and healthy by participating in National Prescription Drug Take Back Day, Saturday, April 27th. Take action right in your own home by cleaning out your medicine cabinet of unneeded medications. Keep them safe, clean them out, take them back. Find a collection site near you at DEATakeBack.com. Do your part to lower overdose deaths and prevent prescription drug misuse before it starts. That's DEATakeBack.com. Moments like my daughter telling me a new joke mean a lot to me. But after being diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer, or MBC, which is breast cancer that is spread to other parts of the body, they mean even more. I take Ibrance, Palpocyclip. Ibrance 125 milligram tablets with an aromatase inhibitor is for adults with HR positive HER2 negative NBC as the first hormonal based therapy. Ask your doctor about Ibrance and visit Ibrance.com. Ibrance may cause low white blood cell counts that may lead to serious infections. Ibrance may cause severe inflammation of the lungs. Both of these can lead to death. Tell your doctor right away if you have new or worsening symptoms, including trouble breathing, shortness of breath, cough, or chest pain. Before taking Ibrance, tell your doctor if you have fever, chills, or other signs of infection, liver or kidney problems, are or plan to become pregnant, or are breastfeeding. Common side effects include low red blood cell and low platelet counts, infections, tiredness, nausea, sore mouth, abnormalities in liver blood tests, diarrhea, hair thinning or loss, vomiting, rash, and loss of appetite. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package, which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. Hi guys, Nancy Grace here, host of podcast Crime Stories with Nancy Grace. It's so easy to think it will never happen to me or my family, but that is simply not true. We speak to victims' families. Every day is a mission to keep one more person safe. Listen to Crime Stories with Nancy Grace on America's number one podcast network, iHeart. Open your free iHeart app and search Crime Stories with Nancy Grace. On the app or in store, Orlando runs on Duncan. Mills Air in business since 1992. That's over 30 years here in Central Florida. They're not going anywhere. Carrier factory authorized dealer. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier. Equipment change outs and upgrades right now with up to $1,275 in rebates. Visit MillsAir.com. Real Radio has your chance to win $1,000. Just enter this nationwide keyword on our website, cash, C-A-S-H, cash. Enter it now on our website at realradio.fm and answer your phone if you get the call. Good luck. On the bright side, we're not dead yet. You're listening.
And you can do it over at thenewsjunkie.com. We'll be playing your response in just a moment here. This could be huge. We've all watched in the last couple of years here as some of these Born? weight loss drugs. No, no, like we go V and uh, what's the big one? Not we go V. Oh, Zempic's uh, oh, the big one. Jinx. And all the offshoots of that, because there's lots of different options that you, you can have now. Now there's a, a one that I hadn't heard of before, which it's, it's the same as all those other ones, the same as the Ozempic and the Wegovi, but it also works for something else at the same time, and they just did a trial on this. Celine was just bringing up the people who are guinea pigs in these trials, and as a result of one of those trials, Eli Lilly says that weight loss drug Zepbound is effective in a big way in fixing sleep apnea. So Ooh. it not only works nice. for like the weight loss side of things, but the people. That's, a, that's in like this a one study. two punch for me. That's like the perfect drug. <laughs> it's, there's got to be a catch, right? Like it's, it's too good to be true. If you could solve two problems with one pill, they said they tested this out for a whole bunch of people in a, in a trial, and it was more successful than the placebo. And uh, they said OSA, which is obstructive sleep apnea. It affects like 80 million people in the United States. That's crazy. It's a lot of people that could benefit from this. And the thing is, I know Celine's gone through like the sleep trials and stuff. Uh, and even if I had it severely, which I've never been tested for, I don't think I could sleep with the masks on. I think that that is like, it would be a, like an obstruction for me that I wasn't okay with. Um, uh, you know, it takes some getting used to, especially finding the right mask, mm -hmm. which I kind of got a little help, you know, with uh, that as in, uh, I had a lot of masks given to me, uh, like samples. Oh yeah. Like fully working samples. Mm -hmm. Whereas like, you know, uh, normally you would just go to the place and they're setting you up with your thing and they're like, um, you know, what kind of mask do you want? And you say this and you take it home and if it doesn't work out for you, well, you you either have to make another appointment quicker or wait till your next appointment. It's a, a whole different thing. Also, b on YouTube is right. Uh, sleep apnea is majorly weight-related. So Is it? I, but I thought there was people who, if you drop the weight, you still have sleep apnea. You still can have it. But, I mean, a, a lot of, uh, uh, I think a lot of people who may not have had it before but get overweight, do, you know, get it. Mm -hmm. You know, because it, it, it's... Um, the whole point of sleep apnea is that there's a p there's like a thing in your back here that's closing, or, oh, or yeah. when you're snoring, that's what like vibrates, like you know. <laughs> yeah. But when it closes, ah. it closes, and you stop breathing for a while, uh -huh. then the oxygen stops going to your brain for a while, so your body is not getting to do the um like the maintenance stuff that your body does while you sleep, you know, really? it's, like, it's like when you sleep and your body's like fixing stuff. But ha have you, since you got the setup for sleep apnea, have you gone to sleep and forgotten to wear it? And if so, do you like, do you notice big time the next morning, the way you feel? Um, I don't, uh, I, you don't forget to wear it. You just fall asleep and then you're like, Oh crap. It's not, it's not like, you don't accidentally not wear it. Like, I fall asleep on the couch, and then I'm like, oh, crap. Then I go back in, and uh, if I don't wear it, it's because I'm being lazy or it's because it's uh, it's annoying me. Mm -hmm. But I would switched up my mask from the full face thing that was leaking and just waking me up, and now I got one that's just around my nose. I've been kicking ass. Oh, look at this last guy. Two, last, last two mornings, I looked at my score, and I got 100%. What? Yeah, congrats. Eli Lilly, get the hell out of here. Yeah. You know what? You're zep bound. There's no need for it around these parts. I mean, I'll take some, though. I mean, yeah. if you want to give me some, I'll definitely take some of that. But uh, there's mean, a, back to the uh, thing where, like, the, the airway being obstructed, yeah. if you are, uh, especially if you're an uh, overweight person who carries a lot of that weight in their neck, you see these mm, people with these me. big, fat-ass, like, you know, uh, bulbous necks. Yeah. Um, that's a lot of the time where they're like, all right, we're going to need you not so not uh just on the CPAP we're going to need you to drop some some pounds too cuz that's that's what's uh, obstructing your 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 breathing there i i've got to get better at all this stuff and i've had a bad week gentlemen i'm not here to to lie to you or sugarcoat it I, this has been a bad week 
Uh, generally, I was doing no drinking on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Mm -hmm. uh, this week, there was a lot of stuff going on. So only Monday was no drink day, right? We did, I did Monday, Tuesday this week. Ashley's got a bunch of days off, which starts today. So last Ooh. night was kind of like a Friday for her. And uh, we were going to do happy hour, but that kind of fell apart. So we did an at-home happy hour. So there I just you made go. some fancy drinks and appies and uh, had a good time. Yeah, well, I, I was bad on that this week, and I, I hate to say this. This marks two days in a row of getting Chick-fil-A uh, in the morning. Waking oh. up and going, I need something in my body. Really uh, rocketing towards rock bottom here. <laughs> I am. It's, just, it's, it's all, the wheels are falling off. I got to put the plane back together. The next week's going to be a good week. going to be smooth sailing. i get all the workouts in. Going to drop back down to that 189 I was at. And then get to my my final goal, one seventy five, and just stripping, just just absolutely, you know, really on point. Stripping, yeah, he's gonna um, get down to one seventy five, and then he's gonna go uh, apply at the uh, the male strip club. Oh, Isn't yes. that a thing? Is um, stripping weight a thing? Don't people say like uh, yeah, this? The person's stripping weight. I mean, it guy strip <laughs> guy strip so Josh. much. Guy just strips so no. much weight, it blows my world. <laughs> just say no if it's a no, Josh. I just, just I'm not really <laughs> sure what you're referring I'm, to. Right, I'm at stripping weight, man. So I'm trying to get uh, right now. I am not at stripping weight. You know what I mean? Like 199, 200. When I say I'm 199, I'm being kind to myself because what I'll do <laughs> because I'm a real piece of garbage human being. I will in the morning, completely naked, always to get the most benefit out of it. I will jump on the scale, and if it goes down to 199, I'll hop off as fast as I can. <laughs> it's not done settling yet. You know, it's like, woo, 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 I'll woo, take woo. it. But it hits that If I jump on the scale, it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Jumpies. Uh, I, and if I get a bad result, I'll go, ah, I can't be right. And then I'll, I'll try to get on again. I'll try to shift my weight around a little bit. I'll try to hack it uh, just so it makes you feel a little bit better about taking on the day. Shedding uh, weight. Is shedding weight what you're thinking of? No, okay. shedding weight, I know. And then there's there's uh, like strapping, which is like oh, a strapping young man. But I thought there was something where you'd say they're they're at their stripping weight. But maybe I made that up. <laughs> okay, I made that. Up so saying. you're not saying shredded. You're, you're saying you're stripping weight as in the weight you could you the weight where you could be a stripper. Yeah, like, yeah, like your wrestling weight or something. To be putting yourself on display. So you're at stripping weight. Oh, uh, like, yeah, I don't think anybody says that. <laughs> I mean, clearly I do. How do words work? Can I put it in the book with I, all the other ones? I thought you were trying to say that you're going to start stripping off the pounds. Like, so I'm stripping weight as in I'm losing it. But, I, I mean, that's also incorrect. So, either way. No, I'm trying to get down to the weight where I feel like I'm most at an acceptable level to be a stripper, a.k.a. stripping weight. Ladies, you know what I'm talking about here, right? Come out of the woodwork here and support me if you've heard this before. Like you, you hit away. It's, it's like your bikini body, your stripping weight. Summer and, bod. Yeah, your summer bod. It's your stripping weight. I think. I'm, I'm, I'm sure. Making all this up. Go over to the newsjunkie.com. Fire off a dispatch now. Leonardo DiCaprio. I'm a big fan. I like Leonardo DiCaprio. Leonardo DiCaprio. He's got Leonardo a lot of duds as of late. I don't care about this flower moon thing that he was in. It was boring to me. It's, Seems like it's too long and, and slow. Uh, I like some of the stuff a lot. I like Gatsby. I think it's a great movie. Truly enjoyed it. I uh, was really, really into it. Although I was, I'll was, i never be not confused by the fact that in Gatsby, uh, what's his name? Tobey Maguire is in the movie, but he doesn't play Gatsby. But in the audiobook version, he plays Gatsby. So I, 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 it's very, very strange, very uh, uncomfortable. But I do like that. I like uh, Shutter Island. I think it's a good movie with a little twist of Rooney in it. Love that. And now they said Leonardo DiCaprio and Jennifer Lawrence, who Jennifer Lawrence, famous for getting in fights completely naked in uh, her most recent movie. She gave that a shot. But they were together in Don't Look Up, the satirical disaster film. And now Great movie. it's a, a Frank Sinatra movie. And Leonardo DiCaprio is going to be Frank Sinatra in this movie, and she's going to be uh, his second wife, Ava Gardner, uh, Jennifer Lawrence is. And they said the Sultan of Swoon will be played by Leonardo DiCaprio. I can see this. I can see him playing yeah. Frank Sinatra. He's got the face for it. And All those eyes. guys were, they were cool, man. When they had the Rat Pack and Sammy Davis Jr., who seems like a cool guy. 
and you have Frank Sinatra and the other guys, yeah. you know, like, all that stuff. They're, they're putting that into a movie with Leonardo DiCaprio. If you think you could pull that off, let me know. Uh, Obi, Obi Woodchipper on Twitch says, Sean's stripper name is the Jiggly Gigolo. How dare you? How dare you? I'm a jiggly gigolo. Everybody <laughs> dare knows. I am only moderately jiggly. Boozy, right boozy, right. boop, zibo. <laughs> <laughs> is he still alive? Yeah. Is, is he? David Lee Roth? Uh, yeah. Yeah. And the menorah guy. He, I, I, I always think he's dead. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, I think uh, DiCaprio is good for uh, Frank Sinatra because when, when I look at Frank Sinatra, like, well, I think of that iconic mug shot that he took. And I'm like that looks that looks like uh, he, he looks like Leo could pull that off. Yeah, I could see that. I could see he got like the floppy hat and stuff, and, and like throwback to 30s, 40s, um, like menswear. And I, I like it. I think yeah, I could be cool. Just a gigolo stuck in my head for a <laughs> while now. <laughs> All right, let's go over to you. Let's work in. Oh, you know what? We don't have time for the dispatches right now. Um, maybe we do. Yeah, you, we'll can, come day. you could do them. You could send us one if you'd like. It's easy to join the show. You don't have to wait on the phones. We'll use technology to our advantage. And to do that, you just take a little trip over to the website. It's the news junkie.com. When you're over there, you'll see where you can send a dispatch. And as you send more and more and become more involved with the show, you'll level up. You know, you can, you can strive to get to level X. I'm not even at level X. Let me see. Where am I at with my dispatches? Uh, let me view my profile on the newsjunkie.com. I'm a level five dispatcher myself, so I'm a ways away. And uh, I've sent 163 dispatches. Most of those, if you go through it, test, test one, two. <laughs> Hello, everybody. It's the, those kind of things. But uh, you can get in on the action and rise up in the ranks over at the newsjunkie.com right now. In fact, we got time for one or two, right? I think we do. We might as well. That's weird. You just said we didn't, though. I was lying for the weekends. Yeah. But here's JCC talking about stripping weight. Hey, Sean. Hey. I'm thinking maybe you need to find a new strip club because if all the strippers at the club you go to are trying to get down to their stripping weight, it means you're watching a bunch of fat strippers. Perfect. And if you're into that, cool. I, have they ever tried a specific strip club like that? Like, they have to have. Like, there has there ever been a, a chubby strip club or, like, a strip club where everybody... I'm getting weird deja vu. I think we've talked about this before. Have we? Yeah, we probably have because this is a great idea. Is Everybody's Plus doing one size thing. size strip club. I'm good. Yeah. It. Has to be a thing, right? Like, 100% somebody's tried that out, and it probably failed. But <laughs> they gave it a shot regardless. Is it one? Is there? <laughs> no, but the first thing that popped up is r slash Orlando on Reddit, uh, just titled BBW Strip Club? Question <laughs> mark. That's because it's, <laughs> it's showing you the search results based uh, on your location. They got oh, the cookies on me. Look at that! It all works out. Okay, we're gonna take a quick break. When we come back, we're gonna do the next episode. Do not miss out on this. Sea Line is ready to go. His studio audience is prepared for legendary broadcast you know it's me. moments. Oh, is it is it Josh? Wow, I don't know. I don't know. Wow. Now, I, you know, unbelievable. Mm, we're, we're gonna find out. It's one of the two the of them, and it's coming up next on the News Junkie. It's me. Coming up tonight on Real Radio at seven. It's a corporate time with Tom and Dan. Brought to you by Gringos Locos and Modern Plumbing Industries. At nine p.m., it's Real Laughs with comedians James Miguel, Ken, and Mike. And Real Music starts tonight at ten on Real Radio one hundred four point one from the Cool Today Weather Center. CoolToday.com. Hey, Central Florida, I'm Fox 35. Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your Thursday forecast. And the rest of the day, it's going to be a hot one. Temperatures will be climbing well into the upper 80s and low 90s, with a high of 90 degrees on the way for Orlando. Those 90s won't be going anywhere anytime soon as we'll stay hot, dry, and mostly sunny into the weekend. That will help to boost temperatures into the mid 90s for Saturday and Sunday with low humidity. From the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Jessica Dobson. This report is sponsored by Positive Coaching Alliance. Got issues with youth or high school sports? Positive Coaching Alliance can help. PCA, a national nonprofit, offers more than a thousand free online resources for youth and high school sports coaches, parents, students, and administrators. Visit PCADevZone.org. 
And now your Fresh from Florida forecast with our friendly Florida farmer, Phil. How's it looking in the fields, Phil? Fantastic. Florida blueberry season is here, and we've got a big blueberry front sweeping through. Expect a downpour of blueberries in your morning cereal, a good chance of blueberries in your afternoon smoothies, and a high probability of blueberry pies for dessert. Back to you, Tom. Thanks, Phil. That's very good news. Look for the Fresh from Florida logo where you shop. There's sunshine in every bite. A Fifth Third better means we put in 166.7%. What does that mean? Well, at Fifth Third Bank, our name equals 166.7%. So that's how hard we work. That means free checking, no hidden fees, and helping to protect your identity. Explain it in baseball terms. It's a home run. Basketball terms. It's a slam dunk. Football. Touchdown. Highlight. Buzz ball. Cricket. Golden duck. Wow. Guess that really is a Fifth Third better. That's what a Fifth Third better means. This is banking a Fifth Third better. Fifth Third Bank National Association member FDIC. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential. But finding those people can be a major hassle. Unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. Frank Gay has something cool for you. Keep your AC running smoothly with a tune-up for only $89 for a limited time. Friendly, speedy, and expert service. That's the Frank Gay way. Visit frankgayservices.com or call for details. True Green is the easiest and most affordable way to get a beautiful lawn. All you have to do is water and mow. And to top it off, when you sign up for an annual plan by April 20th, you get one application free. Call or visit truegreen.com today. Restrictions apply. Did you know your life insurance is an asset you can sell? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. For almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. And at AbacusPays.com, we've created a free policy value calculator so you can find out the worth of your policy in just seconds. There are no fees and no obligations. Get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Learn more at AbacusPays.com. Nervous about investing in college savings right now? Florida Prepaid has a plan for you. Our 529 prepaid plans are 100% risk-free because they're backed by the state of Florida, so you can never lose your investment. And now, prepaid plans start at just $34 a month. Open enrollment only happens once a year, so don't miss your chance to lock in the lowest prepaid plan prices in 10 years. Florida Prepaid open enrollment ends April 30th. Find your plan today. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package, which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. 
Go to lifelock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. Real Radio is on X at Real Radio 1041, sponsored by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Documenting and contributing to the decline in American culture. This. Entertainment and beyond. And I saw a comment from Old Soul over on YouTube, and it says, you guys are talking about the Trump jury. You do know that none of these people have actually been sat on the jury yet. They're just in the jury pool, they said, which is definitely wrong. That is uh, not the case. The, the people who were selected are actually in the jury, on the jury, I should say, for the Trump case in New York. In fact, do they mean the, did this person mean that because the trial hasn't, begun no is, i think they, meant, they, they thought that they were like selecting people to be in the juror pool and then they selected them from there or no. something it's not how it works they, they select people for the jury from the pool of people who show up on any given day and those people that i said were selected were actually selected on the jury it wasn't all of the folks they were still trying to find more in there they're trying to find more today in fact one of the women who we mentioned yesterday was going to be on the jury for trump she got uh, upset because her name was made public and people were talking about her and she I said, I want out. And they excused her from the, the jury and she got out of there because she didn't like that she was being identified. So, yeah, they are actually seating people on the jury. It's going to be pretty explosive when all that starts. It'll be an interesting one to watch for sure. All right, let's get into it. Let's do the next episode. Because there's a lot on TV and you can't possibly keep up with all of it. Even though you should, because what else are you going to talk about? Dunk on me, baby. That's what I want you to do. Nothing. Weather's <laughs> nice. It's time for the next episode. With me! Let's go! Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Why would you do that? Why would you That wasn't me. me. How do you know uh, that was me? That wasn't me. I think, I, I think we just saw it. Everybody just saw it. I think it was that was an HQ somewhere. Uh, next episode brought to you by Home Loans Radio at homeloansradio.com. That mortgage guy, Don.com. You go to him when you are ready to put yourself in a house. It's time to buy. Stop renting and throwing your money away. Uh, rent's expensive anyway. Mm -hmm. get, get yourself a mortgage. Get yourself a good rate from a guy who is a mortgage wholesaler, and he will demystify the mortgage process. That's why he's the man to go to. Don't miss the boat. Compare your quote. Don't miss where? That's right. And today, happy birthday to America Ferrera, who we know from Ugly uh, Betty. Yeah. Uh, I thought you were saying something else for a second. <laughs> uh, was she in Glee or no? That's not a thing. No. This It says here, Ugly Betty and Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, but... She was in Barbie. She was like, oh yeah, the main. Oh, yeah. She was like the main character, other than all Barbie. the Barbies. Like she yeah. was the she was the girl. Uh, Melissa Joan Hart, forty eight. Uh, Eric McCormick of Will and Grace, sixty one. Oh. He was also in one of my favorite Netflix shows to like binge watch when there's nothing else and nobody around. Travelers, the ones where they come back and yeah. like uh, take over people's bodies. And last but not least, in birthdays, this guy right here, Eat Eric Roberts. Eric yes, Gardner. of course. Nobody gives a shit about Eric Roberts. Eat Eric, Eric Roberts. Roberts. Eric Roberts is 68 today. <laughs> Who's that? It's Julia Roberts' brother. He's, oh. a, he's an actor. Is he? Yeah. Oh, I that no Eric Roberts. And his daughter is Emma Roberts, the one that's been like uh, oh, yeah. in a whole bunch of shows lately. That was. Yeah, uh, she She's great, actually. She's real good. That was a clip from, like, South Park back in 1998. That was a couple days after his 40-something birthday. Like, he was uh, not, he was just a young guy. The, oh, the, I recognize this guy. Ate. Yeah, I recognize him from stuff. Yeah, I he just, was, uh, uh, didn't... was he Chachi? I, I, I could find out for you. Eric Roberts, Young and the Restless, and he was in Suits, too. 
So, all right. well, happy yeah. birthday yeah. to no one cares about Eric. Happy birthday to that guy, Mark Germani <laughs> too. He's a local guy. Happy birthday to him. He's fifty. And also, yeah, Creed. That this will make you feel a little on the old side. But uh, celebrity daughter Surrey Cruz is an adult today. She is wow. eighteen years old. That seems weird AF. Remember, remember. I always think about this. Is so funny because. At the time, it was like a, a big deal. People were like, we can't believe that uh, 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 Surrey Cruz, they gave her an iPad at mm-hmm. three years old. What does a three-year-old need an iPad for? And now, now, normal. now all the babies have iPads, yeah. even mine. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't think anybody, I don't think you guys are watching this show. I don't think Sabrina is. I started it and then just, I don't think Ashley was interested, but apparently it's doing quite well. Have you guys seen For All Mankind on Apple TV Plus? No, no. no. Do you know what the premise is? No. It's basically uh, like a like a history, like a like a historical show, but it's if the Russians made it to the moon and not us. <laughs> All right, that's a weird premise. It's, it's, it's new though. It's interesting. It's uh, and now now it's getting an expanded universe. The spacefaring series is getting its fifth season and a spinoff series called Star City. Uh, For All Mankind on Apple TV Plus follows an alternate history where the global space race never ended. The first season starts in 1969, and each season jumps, uh, each season after jumps ahead 10 years. Season four took place in the 2000s. Star City will apparently focus on the Soviet space program. But yeah, the, the very first episode, it's like Russians land on the moon, and all the Americans are like, Sad. Uh, seriously, like <laughs> sad. They're like, how did we let this happen? It's a whole thing. And then they kind of like make up how this would have uh, like, um, uh, you, know, you know, changed how it would have gone moving forward from the Russians kind of winning that battle uh, on uh, YouTube. There was a guy who was like sort of in the music industry, worked a little bit like been in some bands, mm-hmm. done some things but has had a much bigger career as a YouTube person just talking about it. You know how they say do- those who can't teach? Sure. That is Rick Beato, the guy. I don't you've probably seen some of his videos before on YouTube. He is uh he's been in the music industry, he's produced albums, he's been in bands, and he just did an interview with Josh Fries, who we talked about earlier this week. Do you remember who Josh Fries is? No, but he's got four million subscribers. Four million subscribers. Damn. He's huge, and he just he, he does music insiders. He gets a lot of good guests. Josh Fries is. We talked about him earlier because he was a uh, briefly a member, I believe, of Sublime with Rome, and now is the touring drummer for uh, the Foo Fighters. Oh and wow! So uh, Rick Beato sat down with Josh Fries, and he recalled the uh, moment that he spoke on the phone with Dave Grohl and they asked him to be the drummer. I said, hey, do you know, did you go record? He goes, yeah, we recorded a bunch of stuff and I played drums and I'm really happy with the way it sounds, really excited about it. And uh, we had the drummer talk and we want you to be the guy. And it felt, That's Dave Grohl it felt talking. like someone kind of like socked me in the stomach. He, he missed but, he missed the phone call from Dave Grohl. He was out on a walk with his wife. Oh, and, uh, no. and so he calls him. He calls, his wife's like, "I know what that phone call's about." And he's like, "No, no, don't. That's you know, that's not you know." He wouldn't. And uh, he calls him back. He's like, "We want you to be uh, the drummer." And uh, instead of like jumping for joy and being super excited, he said it was like it knocked the wind out of him. Like, okay, here we go. There's no way I'm saying no to this opportunity. Damn. And now he is the Foo Fighters drummer. Hell yeah. Um, there is, uh, I, I'm surprised that this doesn't happen more often on movie sets, but you think stuff is locked up enough that, uh, you wouldn't have people just wandering around, but there was a fun thing that happened to Mariska Hargitay of one of these <laughs> Law and Order. That's right. Damn it. She's been starring on Law and Order Special Victims Unit since 1999. Jesus. And apparently has gotten so good at portraying a police officer that people have started mistaking her for a police officer. <laughs> uh, people reported that Hargitay, 60 years old, was filming one, uh, filming one of the final episodes of the 25th season of the NBC series in New York City last week when she was approached by a young girl who had become separated from her mother. Witness tells the magazine the girl thought Hargitay dressed in character and sporting a badge was a real-life law enforcement officer. The child, unaware or uncaring of the film crew present on the scene, probably doesn't really even know what a film crew looks like. Yeah. So uh, Hargitay and Ice-T had to uh, halt filming for 20 minutes to find this little girl's mother because she thought that this must be an actual cop. Oh. 
Imagine your kid walks away and then they come back to you and With Ice-T tea. is holding their hand. <laughs> I mean, that would kind of be a cool way to meet Ice-T. That uh, would be, yeah. Or, you know, the mother was just like, uh, you stand, you s- stick around here and uh, I'll be back. And that's how you get Ice-T to, to, yeah. to, to, meet, to meet you. I'll wait somewhere a real long time just to have this opportunity if Ice-T will hold my hand and walk with me, but... Well, um, I hope that works out for you. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to happen, but I'll give it a shot. It's a big week for this girl. Taylor uh, Swift. That's, that's right. Josh gets all the points. Oh, so good. Do you know why it's a big week for Taylor Swift, Josh? Uh, no, I Her don't. new album is coming out, guys. Oh, the Tortured oh, yeah. Poets Department. The Tortured Poets Department, which she uh, randomly announced while winning a Grammy because she's Taylor Swift. And they're saying it's uh, supposedly leaked early. And now, first of all, there's uh, there were links going around to this album saying this is this is leaked. Here's all the songs. And then everybody was kind of like, "Is this real?" Normally, they'd be like, "Crazy, let's listen to it. It's definitely real. It's a leak. Here's new songs. That's definitely Taylor Swift singing." Mm-hmm. But nowadays, we could imagine a situation where somebody crafts. An entirely fake album using AI, and yeah. you could be you could be convinced that it's Taylor Swift, especially if you follow her enough that you know her writing style. You say that she should probably write about this person and that person. In this case, they're like they're going through the lyrics and they're like, "Ooh, she's singing about Maddie Healy, the Ooh. lead singer of 1975," and uh, I, the things that are leading towards the rumors and the clips of this being true. Are that any time when these clips are uh, put on YouTube, copyright notices are being, you know, are having them taken down immediately. Wow. Wow. Even to the extent that the search term Taylor Swift leak was blocked on Twitter slash slash X slash. for a bit. So you couldn't even search for that. That comes out tomorrow, I think, midnight, I something remember. like that. Uh, I don't I'll know. be ready for it. On the boob, too. Zendaya and Freddie Miller with the bleachers on Jimmy Kimmel. Sandra O oh and Daniel Radcliffe. Reed Scott on Stephen Colbert. And uh, John Lovett on After Midnight on CBS. NBC's and repeats. That's it. They're still going. Mm-hmm. All right. There they are. <laughs> <laughs> All right. When we come back. You just complained have... that it was still going, and then it stops, and you <laughs> act weird. <laughs> like you don't know what to do. Quick break. When we come back, I want to talk about shock talk. Uh, it's never been as shocky talky as it's about to be on this show. That is coming up next on the News Junkie. Your chance to win a grand in your hand is minutes away on Real Radio 104.1. Brought to you by Mills Air. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center. Lowest prices on the highest quality jewelry. Goldsmithjewelry.com. Authorities are clearing up an accident causing a bit of commotion on Highway 1792 southbound between Osceola Polk Line Road and Keeney Harmon Road. There's an accident on I-4 westbound off to the right shoulder over the St. John's River Bridge. Travel with caution there. And there's stop-and-go traffic on Florida's Turnpike southbound between Scrub Jay Lane and Oakland Exchange. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by the Florida Department of Transportation. The Florida Department of Transportation wants to inform you of a new traffic pattern at the Sand Lake Road and Interstate 4 Exchange. Please stay alert, avoid distractions, and follow all posted signs while driving through the construction zone. Go to i4beyond.com forward slash Sand Lake for up-to-date information. Are you ready to put some cash in your pocket? Because Real Radio is giving you a chance to win $1,000 by putting a grand in your hand. You know the deal with our national contest. We'll give you a keyword at the top of every hour from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. And all you have to do is enter it on our website at realradio.fm for your chance to win. With 13 chances every weekday, you'll have plenty of opportunities to win a grand in your hand. But there is a catch because there's always a catch. Right. If you get a call, you need to answer your phone. That's right. The key to winning is picking up your phone when we call. So don't send us to voicemail. This contest brought to you locally by Mills Air. Mills Air been in business since 1992. That's over 30 years. Carrier factory authorized dealer. Rebates up to $1,275 for brand new carrier units. 
Turn to the experts. Carrier. And you can always turn to the experts at millsair.com. Help keep our community safe and healthy during National Prescription Drug Takeback Day, April 27th. Find a collection site near you at DEATakeback.com. Do your part to lower overdose deaths and prevent drug misuse before it starts. Hi, everybody. It's Savannah Guthrie here with Hoda Kotb from The Today Show. You know that saying, you learn something new every day? Well, it is so true. Yes, every morning on Today, it's those little tips that can help save you time and improve your day. From the simplest ways to save money right now to incredible kitchen and cleaning hacks that you never knew existed. Just remember, see it, hear it, learn it on Today. Oh, that's genius. You just saved me 40 bucks. Every morning, right here on NBC. Seminole Hard Rock Tampa is excited to bring you live craps, roulette, and sports betting. All under one roof, hotter than the Florida sun. Feel the luck of the dice, watch the roulette wheel spin, and scream for your touchdown as the big screen comes alive. Dine like a rock star, sip cocktails that shimmer, then dive into the heart of Las Vegas right here in Tampa Bay. Live craps, roulette, sports betting is here. Get in on the action now, only at Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Tampa, located off of I-4 near I-75. Gambling problem? Call 1-888-ADMIT. Hey there, homeowners. Russ Rollins here. Are you tired of staring at a cold, unused pool? It's time to make a change. Spring is the perfect time to add solar heat to your pool and enjoy it year-round. Solar Source customers, they enjoy family time, nighttime pool parties, movie nights, birthdays, and even low-impact workouts. Don't let your pool be a monthly expense with no enjoyment. Schedule a free consultation from solarsource.com slash monsters. Remember, friends of Russ Rollins save even more money. Enjoying the news junkie? You've probably heard a ton of injury attorney commercials, but if you are injured and need a lawyer, who's the right lawyer for you? That's why we offer our 30-day risk-free trial. If you are not 100% satisfied with the way we treat you and your case within the first 30 days, you can take your file back and you owe us nothing. No fees, no costs, and no questions asked. Injured on the go? Just call Mo.com. Go to just call Mo.com. Mo DeWitt, Orlando attorney. Hey, what's good, guys? This is Angel from the Monsters. You guys know I love to cook on my big green egg. Why? It's impressive, and everything turns out great on the big green egg. If you don't have one, you got to go to Wassie's Meat Market and get a big green egg. They have the lowest prices in the country. They also have all the accessories, everything that you need. They have the classroom set up so you can teach you the basic techniques on the big green egg and advanced techniques on the big green egg as well. When you get the big green egg from Wassie's Meat Market, there's a lifetime guarantee guarantee so check them out it's wassie's meat market check them on instagram or go to their website wassie's meat market.com in melbourne on wickham road it's wassie's meat market moments like making my kids my famous meatballs mean a lot to me but after being diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer or mbc which is breast cancer that is spread to other parts of the body they mean even more i take ibrance palbocyclop ibrance 125 milligram tablets with an aromatase inhibitor is for adults with hr positive her2 negative nbc as the first hormone based therapy. Ask your doctor about iBrands and visit iBrands.com. iBrands may cause low white blood cell counts that may lead to serious infections. iBrands may cause severe inflammation of the lungs. Both of these can lead to death. Tell your doctor right away if you have new or worsening symptoms, including trouble breathing, shortness of breath, cough, or chest pain. Before taking iBrands, tell your doctor if you have fever, chills, or other signs of infection, liver or kidney problems, are or plan to become pregnant, or are breastfeeding. Common side effects include low red blood cell and low platelet counts, infections, tiredness, nausea, sore mouth, abnormalities in liver blood tests, diarrhea, hair thinning or loss, vomiting, rash, and loss of appetite. Look at all the complaints that our competitors have on their BBB ratings. Give me the VIN.com is a five-star rated company. We do what we say we're going to do. It's that easy. Sell us your car. Give me the VIN.com. So easy you can do it in your underwear. Are you over 30 and putting off life insurance? It's time to get a quick quote from Ethos, a better, easier way to get term life insurance, all online with no medical exam. Answer a few health questions and you could be approved for up to $2 million. Isn't it worth 10 minutes to help protect your family's financial security? Ethos, up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam. Some policies as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at checkethos.com. That's checkethos.com. Don't let spring allergies make you miserable. Try the quick drug-free solution trusted by over 4 million people, Navage. Only Navage uses suction to flush out your sinuses using refreshing saline, helping you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel healthier. 
And here's even better news. Navage is now available at your local Sam's Club in a great new value pack. It's everything you need to start breathing better immediately at Sam's guaranteed best price. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E. Breathe easy. If you've been injured in a car accident, call Pound Law from your cell phone. Morgan & Morgan. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman & Lind Studios. Why Kaufman & Lind? Because you matter. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS-FM HD1, Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Now is your chance to win $1,000. Just enter this nationwide keyword on our website check c-h-e-c-k check that's check enter it now on our website at realradio.fm good luck they're best friends unless they're fighting are they fighting it's That's how you can email the show. If you want to be anonymous, that's fine. Just put it right up top on the email, and this uh, email does just that. It says anonymous, please, to tipsofthenewsjunkie.com. It was a news story recently where we were talking about a polyamorous relationship. And this is one that was in a New York Post or New York Times. New York Times did the, the main article that went viral. It was about 20 people all together in a polyamorous relationship, which sounds like a nightmare. It sounds... Like it's impossible for you to get a, a handle on anything that's happening within a structure that big. But it's maybe as um, Celan and Josh were suggesting, it's just like a small town. It's a, you can get a limited number of people. I loved Josh saying bar staff. It's a bar staff. Yeah, it's a bar staff <laughs> where you. You know, the, eventually it all gets around. And Anonymous says, I have a cousin by marriage who was for many years in a polyamorous relationship. They were a thruple, which is three individuals in a full relationship. They had two women and one man. They all shared a bedroom and functioned as one unit together. They were very happy. One of the women stayed home with the two kids and was the homemaker. Each woman had a child from a previous relationship. The other two worked full time. This worked really well for them as they had two full time incomes and a stay at home parent for the girls. I don't know how the nitty gritty went down about how things went in the bedroom, But they all came to family events together, and they were totally normal. They broke up about 12 years ago after five years together. They all went their own ways. Just this year, my cousin and the male in the relationship got back together and got married. The other woman was not there, but her daughter was. They all seemed to be doing well and were happy. Uh, Five years sounds like a long time. Long time for a relationship like that to work. It's it's not a regular relationship. More people you got, less time it's going to last, I think. But... Thank you for the email, regardless, Anonymous. Thanks for sending that over. Uh, those 20 know. people, though, I mean, they're they're, uh, they're doing it, right? They're super yeah. happy. Uh, so everything's perfect. Nothing could be better. It's a commune, right? What they're could all go together. Uh, there is one thing that I wanted to bring up real quick before we get into shock talk. And I hope you boys are ready for shock, shock talk. talk. Yeah. Shock talk is happening in just a moment here. But I saw something and I was like, that's clever. That's clever. That's kind of fun. The band Cindy Lee, which I don't know if you've ever heard of them, but uh, they have been around for a little while, and they just released an album. Oh no, Celine, are you googling it? You're going to cheat if you. No, Google I'm not. It. I'm not googling okay. it. All right, uh, Cindy Lee, the band, just released an album. Has anybody heard about this at all? Or are you both no. in the dark? Okay. How do you think they released this album? Is in a very special way, I think, uh, that both of you will. Understand, C Lane may appreciate even more, but you'll both know what's going on. They released this album in an interesting way, on an interesting platform, I might say. Where do you think this was released? What's your guess, C Lane? Mm. It was released. We're talking where on the internet? It was on the internet. Yep. Okay. Yes. Released on the internet. Oh. oh I think Josh sounds like oh. he has an idea. Is it perhaps Pornhub? No, it's not. It's Damn not that. It. It's only a good fans? guess, though. It's not OnlyFans oh, yeah. either. Both those are both very good guesses. 
Cindy Lee released their album on GeoCities. Uh, oh, they, wow. <laughs> they, I was close enough. They had a GeoCities page from, like, the beginning of the internet. And that's where they released their album. And it's totally free and everything. It's one of those, the albums where they, they just look for donations. And they they pop this online on a GeoCities page of all the things that you could possibly use to launch an album. There you go. All right, let's do the shock talk. It's time for it. Here we go. Yeah. Buckle up, friends. There is some shock talk uh, problems out there. Shock talk is a very controversial police tactic. I was not aware of this until today. But now, because people are starting to request body cam footage when weird stuff happens, and I'd encourage you to do this, Auditing the cops and not being annoying is a good idea. Most of the audit, the cops people are super annoying, but if you can audit the cops to keep them uh, making sure that they're, they're operating in daylight and that they're operating in a way where they're receiving scrutiny for the way that they handle themselves is a good thing. We need that. When you don't watch the cops, they do whatever they damn well please. And we have rotten cops all over the place as a result of that. So Body cams are great. Number one, that's fantastic. Love body cams. But if you have an, a weird interaction with the cops, get the body cam footage and send it to the local news. Call them out every single time. Don't be afraid of them. Most of them are pussies anyways. The bad cops are the biggest pussies. All right, They're not going to do anything to you. You're going to be just fine. But at the San Jose Police Department, they were using a controversial tactic that they call shock talk. And what this involves... <laughs> I did, I was just diving into what you just said mm -hmm. to just go, go out there and say, you know what? The bad cops are the biggest pussies <laughs> because <laughs> there's not going to be a single police officer. And, I mean, unless you're just really swimming in crimes that you've committed and you just know it. There's not a single police officer that's going to go. That asshole's talking about me. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> so it's going to be like all the, uh, even if uh, you're not that great, you, you, but you think you're good, you're going to go, he's not talking about me. I'm not a pussy. <laughs> he's uh, Everything's cool. Plus, I'm a good cop, right? Yeah. Yeah. Most of you are. Those cops who listen to the show, usually very good cops. Very, very, very good cops. We love you. We appreciate you. Just the bad ones suck. Shock talk, though. Here's what it involves. They said that this strategy or tactic involves going up to uh, the car in a traffic stop and saying something that is controversial or shocking to the person to take them off guard. So if they're caught off guard. They think that the, they'll have better control over the, the interaction, the traffic stop. And on multiple occasions, they found on body cam footage that San Jose, California police officers would introduce the conversation with things like, are there any dead babies in the car? Or something else to shock the person to catch them off guard, and somehow this strategy is supposed to pay off. Now, I'm going to posit an argument Not here. today. <laughs> <laughs> Officer. If you get an affirmative answer, there's all sorts of problems that are going to come I'm with that. I'm glad you asked. Uh, are there any dead babies in the car? I, I have a different theory on this. I think instead of this being a tactic that the police are using, I think this is uh, what's the broken lizard movie where they're cops? Super troopers. I think this is super troopers. It's very uh, right meow, sir. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think this is super troopers where the cops are just kind of a little bored and they're. I'm going to ask them if they have any dead babies in the car, or it's your TSA guy who goes, uh, make sure you don't have any uh, fluids over this many ounces. Anybody got any nuclear weapons? You can't bring your nuclear weapons to the airport. Waka waka. And <laughs> they don't that. do that at TSA, do they? You're not allowed to joke. You're not supposed to joke. Uh, I've heard some stuff. I don't know if I've heard that or if I'm just dreaming that. But I, th I thought that I had heard I used, uh, Okay. I, I used to talk about how there um, uh, used to be a sandwich board when the Hard Rock uh, Live venue first opened mm -hmm. that had all the rules. And the very last rule was no guns or nuclear devices. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, they'll screw around with stuff like this. Because they're, they're having fun. They're screwing. I don't think it's an actual tactic. I don't think it, it works uh, on anything. They said well, in if, you one, the, if you had a nuke on you, you're not going to go, oh, oh uh, it's well, against the rules. You're going to turn around and again? get back in your car. <laughs> See you later, guys. Oh, I missed my flight now. In another instance detailed in the audit, an officer was investigating criminal threats and ordered the complaining party out of the car they were seeking refuge in. In an interview, the officer described a fleeing suspect who was possibly armed 
Body worn footage, according to the IPA's audit, did not support that. So the cop was lying about somebody fleeing him. See, that's just a cop lying. That's not a strategy. That's not shock talk. It's just a bad cop. After a struggle, the complaining party was arrested. When they were finally subdued, he asked one of the officers why he was being arrested. We just decided to stop a black man for no reason, okay? The officer responded. Again, that's not shock talk. That's not a strategy. That's not some kind of tactic that you're using. That's just a cop being an asshole. <laughs> that's, that's somebody screwing with people, trying to troll the people he's arresting. And it's not some sort of controversial tactic. It's just bad behavior, I would say. Uh, all right, we're going to get to a couple of dispatches here, and let's see what's on your mind. Let's check the temperature of everybody out there. And if you're uh, listening, thank you, by the way. Thank you for hanging out with us. It's very, very, very nice of you. Here is Dennis G talking about organ donation. Hello? Hey, Sean, when it comes to selling your organs, it seems like women can sell their eggs, men can sell their part, mm -hmm. we can sell blood, we can sell plasma. We can't so really sell blood. have to be next. Wiggle, wiggle, pop, pop. Yeah, Sea Lion's right. You can't really sell blood. Which they is a just, scam. Yeah, you can donate blood, and the people that you donate it to, they get to sell it. Yeah, it must it's, be nice. It is. It's the biggest scam. It really is. They make you feel all bad about things. You're like, blood supplies have never been lower. And then you go, oh, I feel and bad. And we got a cookie and a movie ticket for you. And, and you go, I'm going to do the right thing. And it, people who are motivated by all the right things go and do this. Our friend Jack Bradshaw has donated 7,000 gallons yeah. of his own blood. I'm yeah. looking at him right now. He's yeah. very blood thin. <laughs> <laughs> you can see through the guy from the right angle. Yeah, he's translucent. <laughs> he's donated enough blood to fill an army of Jack Bradshaws. <laughs> That's true. And maybe they've done that out there somewhere. There could just be a whole They're army of them. Dispatching him to radio stations across the country as we speak. <laughs> Why is he doing that? He's doing that because he thinks it's a good thing to do, which he's right. It is a good thing to do. And a, um, a a very nice move uh, to your fellow humans. But the company mostly, uh, this is the case for most uh, blood donations, is then taking the blood that you donate, you think you're doing a good thing, and then they sell it. It's a business. They turn around and then make a profit off of the, the blood that you're giving them. But I have had uh, loved ones who have had blood transfusions, so I will give my blood to whatever I will give. I, I will always give back. Like my sister. Will you give had your blood a, to some listeners if they ask? They're just like, uh, <laughs> hey, uh, should, mm, do we want your blood, bud? Nah, that seems creepy. Just a little bit of blood. <laughs> no, will I will you, only give it to strangers. Will you pull uh, a move? What was it Kiss that did the comic book? Or yes. Where we can mix your blood with some red ink and print it onto a news junkie magnet. Maybe. The very rare Sean Blood Magnet. You know what the new move is? Somebody from Metallica just got this done. You guys, Google this. Oh. Look, Google Metallica tattoo. I saw see. this. Uh, somebody got a tattoo with the ashes of Lemmy Kilmeister of Motorhead. Oh, badass. It was uh, James Hetfield got the, the Motorhead logo, I think, on his middle finger. Yeah, with, with the ashes of Lemmy from Motorhead, yeah. right? Uh, which is a cool move. What a metal move that is. And uh, I would like you guys to tattoo your faces with my ashes when I die. If Our you don't faces? Mind. Yeah, the whole thing. Whole uh, th top to bottom. Too far. And I, here's what I want you to tattoo on your face. Okay. okay. Size 72 font with my ashes and my blood. And I wanted to say 1-800-COLLECT. <laughs> Nothing to do with me. Defunct company. <laughs> It's not relevant socially any longer. <laughs> just, just, but that's what I want. That's the thing that I would like, if you don't mind. And it's it's going to be a, a joyous occasion. Um, one more. Here's Spruce talking about the great Gatsby. Hey, Sean, did you know that when the Leonardo DiCaprio version of the great Gatsby came out, it was actually in 3D? No. It's like the sober it? examination of the unrestrained materialism and absent moral center of the Roaring Twenties jumps right out at you. Ah, uh, so true. He's a big fan of the Great Gatsby. Great Gatsby's a short book, as I recall. He just yes. threw a lot of uh, vocab words in there. He that did. Was a, that was a line from the movie. You guys uh, don't know the Great Gatsby? I think he's correct, though, because there's that one scene where Leo's holding out his champagne glass and there's yeah. a lot of confetti blowing everywhere. 
And yeah. he says old sport. Yeah, he, he made old sport cool for old a hot sport. second. After I watched that movie, I questioned. I was like, maybe I should start saying old sport. <laughs> Can I do it? It's I, not too late to start. I think if you're think asking no, yourself about it like that, <laughs> you're not doing it. I had a friend. Oh. I don't know if I ever told this story. I had a friend who went to England when we were 22 or something. He went to England and he came back and he decided that he was just going to start saying love all the time. <laughs> and, and just like working, he'd be like, oh, hey, love, you know, how you doing, love? Uh, oh, yeah, um, you know, we're going to hang out with her, love. And he just started working this into his daily conversation. And I was like, no, no, we're not, we're not doing this. You can't, I'm going to call it out every time you do it. And uh, I bullied him into not saying love anymore because you oh, can't, yeah. just can't do that. You can't go to Texas and be like, howdy, partner. Some, yeah, it's, it's, it's stolen valor. Some something. people need bullies, man. Some yeah. people need it. Can we bully you for the rest of the show then? You've tried. You've bullied me for uh, years. <laughs> I always think about, remember when we used to bully you during this week in Florida? Yeah. <laughs> We used to, we did so many things. We put, we put a drummer, we had drums in his studio. Uh, when you know, he was trying to do his segment. Wasn't this it week Fritz? I, <laughs> much bad to remember. Put a drummer in the studio, threw thousands of bouncy balls in, uh-huh. into his studio all the way up. Silly a, string at the live event? Had silly string in there. Had a live studio audience one time during the break come in and fill Sealand studio, and there was... No lie. I think there was like 20 people. People, There was women flashing and stuff. I remember that. The, the two Jaeger chicks that just like stood uncomfortably close to me. Yeah. Yes. And I think ThinkPad was dressed as a hot dog. Yeah. Um, oh. And then I ran into one of those Jaeger chicks like later that night who was actually at the bar giving away free shots. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, all right. Remember me? <laughs> no, she she said that. Oh, okay. I was like, All right. I was just going for the free shot. I wasn't paying attention to who it was. And I was like, oh, okay. Nothing Thanks wrong with that. Thanks for coming by. Too big of a star. <laughs> Here is Trav talking about legal body parts. Sean, if the government legalized the purchase of body parts mm-hmm. tomorrow, my only question for you is, would you attempt to buy a pair of fully grown, normal-sized human hands oh man uh i if there was if i walked into a shop you could choose to believe me or not that's on you if i walked into a shop and they had a full-sized human hand in a jar of formaldehyde at a at a reasonable price i would purchase it i would buy that hand so take from that what you will but i like to buy weirdo freaky stuff uh, I love oddity stores. I love collecting strange things, and I would 100% buy a human hand. I would draw the line, though, somewhere. I, I, I would also like, uh, you know, you could buy tattoos after people die. They, like, yes. cut off the tattoo. I would buy, like, a cool sailor-type tattoo in formaldehyde, and that would be a cool collectible. But I would never buy a human head. I'm sorry. I just wouldn't do it. I wouldn't bring myself to doing it. Mm. And it's off. I have I have to draw the line somewhere. I'm sorry. I apologize. It's just the way it Is goes. It just because it'd be scary at night. Yeah, it would be too weird. And I'm not allowed to do some of that stuff. I really liked the movie Talk to Me. I think it's a great, great movie. It was such an innovative, fun, horror, thriller movie. And in it, they had a prop of this hand. And you you grab out of the hand. It's sort of like almost like you're, you're arm wrestling it or something. And when you grab out of the hand, a, a demon takes over your body. And... They had a prop that they made. They made a limited amount of them. It was this hand from this movie. And Courtney's like, you can't put that in the studio. I'll never be able to go in there again. I'll be <laughs> too scared of it. And I'm like, oh, man. And so I, if I Ashley said that to me, I would buy two of those hands. <laughs> <laughs> no girls allowed. <laughs> All right, quick break. When we come back, we'll hear from you. We got dispatches queued up and ready to go. And a New York City high schooler just reinvented 911 What is he doing? Wait till you hear this. It's coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio is the Jim Colbert Show. Later today on the Jim Colbert Show, we get some date night ideas from Danny Myring and Date Night Done Right. Then Glenn Clausman brings us a case for Colbert Court. For JCS Trivia, win them before you can buy them. Tickets to see Lewis Black at the Hard Rock Live. Also, we want to put a grand in your hand with four shots at $1,000. Plus, yours call sex and talkbacks later today. The Jim Colbert Show. Today at 3 p.m. on Real Radio 104.1. 
There's a whole bunch of commotion this afternoon. Authorities are still working on that accident on Highway 1792 southbound between Osceola Polk Line Road and Kinney Harmon Road. Two right lanes are blocked on Highway 1792 southbound at Americana Boulevard. And authorities are working on that accident on Forest City Road eastbound at Palm Springs Drive. Two right lanes are blocked there as well. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Rasmussen University. At Rasmussen University, we offer 50-plus programs from health sciences to business to nursing, online and on campus. Are you ready to rewrite your story? Learn more at rasmussen.edu. Folks, Mills Air has been around since 1992. This is a company that is locally owned and operated, that is family owned and operated, this is a company you can trust. And you need that when it comes to your air conditioner because people sometimes aren't honest with you. Uh, this is a company that will treat you right. And they're a carrier factory authorized dealer. So Mills Air can get you rebates up to $1,275 off a brand new carrier unit. You could always turn to the experts at Carrier and you could always turn to Mills Air. Your, their website is uh, millsair.com. But if you want to sign up for something, it's called preventative maintenance, which can save you money and detect an upcoming breakdown. I would encourage you to do that right now and just jump on the phone with them real quick. It'll be one of those things that gives you peace of mind and you go, I'm happy I did that. Just like I sign up for an exterminator or I sign up for you know whatever to come around X amount of times a year. You sign up for this preventative maintenance, maybe every six months or so, somebody from Mills Air comes out and looks at your AC. No surprises. 407-277-1159. Or find them online at millsair.com. Every 2023 Nissan on closeout. Now at Sutherland Nissan Orlando. Get closeout pricing. 0% APR financing. No payments till 2025. Every single Nissan has to go by month end. Sutherland Nissan Orlando. OrlandoNissan.com. Home of the lifetime warranty. See dealer for details. Help DEA keep our community safe and healthy by participating in National Prescription Drug Take Back Day, Saturday, April 27th. Take action right in your own home by cleaning out your medicine cabinet of unneeded medications. Keep them safe, clean them out, take them back. Find a collection site near you at DEATakeBack.com. Do your part to lower overdose deaths and prevent prescription drug misuse before it starts. That's DEATakeBack.com. Hey, homeowners, Russ Rollins here to talk to you about something serious, your power bill. Last summer was tough, but this year could be even worse. So don't wait until the last minute to get protection and savings from solar power and backup power. Solar Source has a new pay-as-you-go solar package that lets you start with an affordable base system and add solar panels over time. Plus, their pay-as-you-go battery backup is awesome, and it lets you add critical backup power as you go. Schedule a free consultation at Solar SolarSource.com slash monsters. Get ready for a stress-free summer. Another happy Safe Light customer. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. There I was driving down the highway when out of nowhere, a rock hits my windshield. Ah, so annoying. But then I remembered Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. I booked my appointment at SafeLight.com. And with my insurance, my new windshield was no cost to me. Safe Light even handled my insurance claim, which was the best. Cracked windshield? Just go to SafeLight.com and let SafeLight take care of everything. SafeLight repair, SafeLight replace. Sneezing, coughing, uh, stuffy nose, runny nose, post-nasal drip, interrupted sleeping. I just I was groggy at the end of the day. Allergies and sinus congestion were making Jana miserable. Then, a friend recommended Navage. Navage provides immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus germs and other airborne irritants. Navage helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel your best right away. Navage gave me instant relief. I didn't have to wait 30 minutes. I didn't have to wait an hour, 90 minutes. I didn't have to wait. I didn't have to wait a minute. I just, I ran the rinse and I felt immediately, I felt better. Stop suffering from congestion and start breathing and feeling your best again with Navage. N-A-V-A-G-E. I've had people ask me how I find relief and I tell them Navage immediately. This thing is amazing. Navage is available at Navage.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS and Rite Aid. Whether it's food for meetings or company events, Easy Cater has everything you need to make food for work, work. And that means all you have to do is sit back and take credit. 
Mm. Wow, a vegan and a meat lover taco bar? Jill, you're the best. Oh, all I did was use Easy Cater. Take the credit, Jill. Well, I guess I sort of... Take it. ...invented taco bars. Too far, Jill. Too far. Easy Cater has everything you need to make food for work work. 100,000 restaurants, one platform. Order 24-7 at easycater.com. This year full of rail radio is sponsored by R.C. Hill Mitsubishi, Highway 1792 in DeLand. This year full of real radio is sponsored by Wasi's Meat Market, the best place to buy a big green egg. If you're ready to refinance, buy your first dream home, do some debt consolidation, then you got to work with That Mortgage Guy Don. Go to thatmortgageguydon.com to work with an expert and a friend that you can trust. Plain and simple, no spam, no hassle, just peace of mind. Now is your chance to win $1,000. Just enter this nationwide keyword on our website. Check. C-H-E-C-K. Check. That's check. Enter it now on our website at realradio.fm. Good luck. They're best friends. Unless they're fighting. Are they fighting? It's the... Go over to thenewsjunkie.com, and while you're there, when you hear us talking about something, if it triggers you, if you go, ah, I've got something interesting to add to that, if you have a joke for us, you can send a dispatch over at thenewsjunkie.com. It's very easy for you to do, even if you want to rip off a Norm McDonald bit and... Yeah, uh, buddy. <laughs> try to sneak that past us or <laughs> your great Gatsby joke. Uh huh. Yeah, we we know we we have people. We have eyes and ears everywhere. But we'll see what you have. Send your dispatch over at thenewsjunkie dot com. Least surprising news of maybe the year. Uh, they say that California fast food restaurants have now raised their prices in almost all instances as a result of the law that took effect on April first. Not an April Fool's Day joke that uh, California's minimum wage was raised to $20 an hour. Now, I'll tell you once more that there's a bunch of weird boomers on social media who are arguing about this, and they don't know what they're talking about. So it's important to say that this doesn't impact locations or restaurants where they have under X number of locations. So, like, if it's a mom-and-pop place or, like, some local spot— it doesn't affect those establishments. It only affects chain restaurants in the state of California. They're forced to pay $20 an hour minimum wage to all the folks who work there. And now as a result, Chipotle has raised their prices by 7.5%, which I didn't even know if they could do that anymore. <laughs> Chipotle is not even on the map for me anymore. I, I, I think that, I, it's, it, they raise their prices way too much, and you don't get enough out of it. And people... People do a thing with Chipotle that they do with a lot of other fast food places when they get like a salad or something. They think, oh, it's fresh and there's not that many ingredients. So obviously Chipotle is good for you. If you operate under that pretense, you're probably going to get real fat real quick (laughs) because Chipotle isn't necessarily good for you. Some of those things have tons of calories, right? They're just loaded up with calories. Uh, I I just love when people do that. Like they'll go to McDonald's and they'll be like, I'm going to get the salad. Half those McDonald's salads have more calories than the Big Mac does. It's not necessarily just good for you because it's a salad. But Chipotle is Uh, Remember the salad shaker? Uh, Yeah. That thing was... uh, That thing made you feel like you were doing something healthy, but probably not. (laughs) You're working for it, right? Uh, They also said prices at Burger King are up 2%. My God, we can't afford it anymore. Taco Bell raised prices by 3%. And all the different places that could raise their prices, some of them as much as 10%. But so that's only, not even the problem. Only chain restaurants have to pay $20 an hour? Yes. It's only something that they're enforcing on on ch- uh, restaurants with a certain number of locations. Isn't that kind of unfair to the ma and pa restaurants? Like, why would you ever want to work for these people if you, you know they can pay you less? I think it is. I think the way you're thinking about it is the correct way and the way I'm thinking about it. But I think this is one of those things where people feel like they're doing something right and nice and just, and they don't think about all the repercussions of it. Yeah. And and this is the case almost all the time with um, with these minimum wage hikes. What they should do is benefit companies in some way who pay their employers 
uh, or pay their employees higher wages. So if the federal government goes, look, if your minimum wage at your company is 20 bucks an hour, here's all the benefits you're going to receive. You get some tax benefits. You get this, you get that. And by the way, the more employees you hire, the more benefits you're going to get from the feds. That, or, or from the state, the state could do it too. That would be a good way to incentivize companies to pay more employees more money because it benefits them in the end. Otherwise, you're just trying to sprinkle fairy dust on stuff. Everybody gets 100 bucks an hour. We've, we solved the problem. Nobody's poor anymore. All right. Just doesn't work like that. I feel, though, sometimes corporations are lying to us. And this is one of those cases. What? See, Elaine, we're going to need your, your technological prowess and expertise uh, on this right, story. There we go. Tell me if you believe in Apple when they're saying this, all right? Apple has now officially said on the record that if you're one of these people who swipes up on their phone and then sees all the apps running and then just closes out all those apps, and you go, oh, I'm not using this, I'm not using this, and you go through and you keep all the apps closed that are running on your phone, Apple says swiping apps closed causes your iPhone to slow down and lose battery life. Saying If you're shutting down the apps that are running in the background of your phone, it is causing your iPhone to be slower, actually, and it is losing your phone more battery power. Fake your battery news. life isn't. How could that be right? <laughs> I don't believe them for a second. They want you to kill your phone faster so you buy a new one. Yeah, I really think I, that, I'm not a conspiracy guy often. But does, it cite, I, does it cite a reason, or do, are we just supposed to take them at their word? It says, uh, are you one of those people who swipes apps close on your iPhone? It seems logical that it would close things down. If you have fewer apps open, surely your device won't have to juggle as much at once and subsequently protect the charge, right? Uh, Apple says, no, that's not the case. Apple says, when your recently used apps appear, the apps aren't open, but they're in standby mode to help you navigate and multitask. Uh, but as soon as they fall into that suspended state, they aren't actively in use, open, or taking up system resources. When you go to swipe them, it activates them. Do you? Does that make sense to you? Yes. So it's not actually running in the background, but when you when you go to see what's running in the background, it makes it run in the background. Basically, what they're saying is doing something is more than doing nothing, mm -hmm. which sounds very trivial and 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 stupid I mean, and obvious to say. But they're saying that that when those apps are open like that, they're not necessarily running in the background like you think they are. They're not doing anything. They are suspended. And so instead of doing nothing and not using more resources from your phone mm -hmm. to swipe up and then start closing them all is doing more than you would be doing, which was nothing. So it would slow down your phone but, but I, I don't, it's so I, counterintuitive it feels like you're you're like shutting it, down the app it does but it's not if it's suspended it's not taking up your phone's resources uh i mean it, unless it's like a an iheart radio that's running in the background so that it's that's that would be streaming audio and and running in the background so i could say if you were to close that one which mm -hmm. you shouldn't uh that uh that <laughs> that might kind of free up some resources or 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 speed up your phone or or at least extend the battery life a little bit. But I see what they're saying, where it's like if you've got a bunch of like websites open or you've got a bunch of other like mm -hmm. apps, you know, uh, your your Uber Eats or whatever. I mean, even any of the stuff that it's not doing much right now, uh, yeah, you can leave it up. Yeah, I, I still, it, it, something in me says if I shut it all down, it helps out. They should, they should have worded that differently. It, they should have said you're not doing anything better to your phone by closing those apps to say that like actually it's going to slow your phone down no it it's it's not doing anything worse to your phone yeah but they it sounds like what josh said it sounds like they're in the business of keeping you on the phone longer and keeping those apps running and then if your phone is older it'll slow down and then you get a new iphone business you know yeah. that's what it seems like i don't know if that's right but it feels that way what do you think go to the news junkie.com and send us a dispatch right now Let's go over to Chaos, who's talking about the California $20 an hour minimum wage. What's up, news junkies? Hey, hey. Josh. How you doing, buddy? Hello. Looking gorgeous again today. Um, so, Sean, you said that the, um, the $20 an hour doesn't affect uh, mom and pop places. It doesn't directly affect them, but indirectly it does affect them. Because if they're not paying, if they're paying, you know, under the minimum 20 you know, 
those other employees are going to decide, you know what, well, if I can get $20 an hour at this place, you know, why would I stay at this place where I'm making 15 an hour? Um, I know that's not 100%, yeah. you know, 100% going to be the most um, reasonable reason to switch jobs, but, you know. No, people it, absolutely operate that way. People absolutely operate that way. The minimum wage going up isn't necessarily the biggest part of the problem, or, or I should say... Um, the money angle of this, like things getting more expensive, isn't the biggest part of the problem for me. It's the fact that a lot of those companies will say, if we have to pay employees $20 an hour, we'll just cut the amount of employees we have in half. We'll add more and more robots, and the jobs actually disappear, right? And then I worry about younger people getting what are supposed to be entry-level jobs and being able to start their, their careers. Uh, everybody did that at some point, and it's harder now than ever to do it. I've got some of the answers on this, and uh, I've got the law up here in front of me. So we'll look at that for jury duty. We'll get into the 911 thing that this New York high schooler created. It's going to change 911 forever, they say, and much more on the way. It's coming up next on the News Junkie. You know you can always text us. Unless you're driving. At 77031. Standard data and message rates apply. Real Mobile is powered by Orange Buick GMC and orangebuickgmc.com. We are professional grade. Here's what's trending from the iHeart Sports Network, presented by DraftKings Fantasy. The Rays will try to earn a split of their series against the Angels. They'll play this afternoon. Tampa was unable to hold a ninth-inning lead in last night's loss. To hockey and lightning forward, Nikita Kucherov became the fifth player in NHL history to record 100 assists in a season in last night's win over Toronto. And the NHL Board of Governors will vote today to approve the relocation of the Arizona Coyotes to Salt Lake City. I'm Scott Davidson. Check out what DraftKings has to offer this season with Code Sports because life's more fun when you're in on the action. DraftKings, the crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Age and eligibility restrictions apply. Void were prohibited. See DraftKings.com for details. The Orlando Concert Event of the Year. Saturday 420 at the Central Florida Fairgrounds. It's WJRR's Earth Day. Earth Day. Featuring Stained, Seether, Asking Alexandria, and many, many more. Angel from the Monsters in the Morning will be the official DJ and host of the Real Radio Monsters Chill Zone. Featuring DJ sets and an all-acoustic stage. Plus, Russ Rollins from the Monsters will be sampling his Triple R whiskey in front of the Chill Zone. Saturday, 420 at the Central Florida Fairgrounds. It's WJRR's Earth Day birthday. Get info and buy tickets now at WJRR.com slash EDBD. You do everything you can for your family. A nice home, good food, family fun, and the right medical care. You plan ahead for your kids' future and their education. That's all great, unless something unexpected happens to you. If you were to die, who would pay the mortgage and all the other bills? Would your family have to sell their home just to survive? That's why you need to call Term Provider for the lowest rates available on quality term life policies, period. Rates for term life are at all-time lows, and Term Provider could save you 50, 60, even 70%. Already have coverage? Call and see if you're paying too much. Term Provider could save you thousands. And if your health isn't perfect, even more reason to call. We'll match you with the right policy even if you have weight issues like diabetes or high blood pressure. Right now, your family's protected. Make sure that protection continues if something unexpected happens to you. Call for a free quote and see if you can save up to 70%. Call 800-777-1979 now. 800-777-1979. 800-777-1979. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20. A Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. 
For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. You can tell spring is in the air thanks to that thick coat of pollen that covers everything from your car to your house. And if you suffer from allergies, this can be a tough time of the year. So breathe easy this spring with Renewal by Anderson's energy-efficient windows and doors. Improved indoor air quality is just one great benefit. Renewal by Anderson's beautiful design with a variety of color options bumps up your curb appeal, too. And during their 30-day spring sale, you can save $325 on every window and $820. $25 on all patio doors, plus no money down, no payments, and 0% interest for 12 months. Visit rbafla.com for details. Expires April 30th. Some restrictions apply. And if you're looking for a new career, great news. Renewal by Anderson is now hiring experienced window and door installers. Official partner of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, go to rbafla.com for details. License number CGC 1527613. Hey, everybody, it's Savannah and Hoda from the Today Show. From the simplest ways to save money to incredible hacks you never knew existed. Just remember, see it, hear it, learn it on Today. Oh, that's genius. You just saved me 40 bucks. Every morning on NBC. Did you know that your largest investment asset might not be your retirement account or home? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. Most people don't realize that their life insurance policy is actually an asset they can sell. But for almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. We've even created a free policy value calculator at abacuspays.com so you can find out in seconds what we might pay for your policy. There are no fees and no obligations, just information. Knowing the value of your life insurance policy is as important as knowing the value of your home, your equity portfolio, or your finances in total. Discover the valuable information you need to understand the current market value for your life insurance, and then get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Visit abacuspays.com to learn more and use our free policy value calculator today. Sunnyside Plumbing. Yes, I'm concerned about my water heater. If your concern is of a serious nature, press 1. If it's more of a frivolous matter, press 2. Doesn't even make sense. Just press 1 or 2. Fine. Fine. What are you so concerned about? My water heater's like 15 years old and I'm worried it might... Oh, this is exciting! Has it burst yet? Well, no, but... Only a matter of time. Hey, everyone! 15-year-old water heater, place your bets. Are you laying odds on when my tank will fail? I have to make this call interesting somehow. This would never happen at Frank Gay. True enough. So, $10 buy-in. What's your guess? Guess I should have called Frank Gay. When you need a new water heater, it's no time to gamble. You want your problem fixed fast before it turns into a bigger one. That's the Frank Gay way. I've got a side bet you'll hang up and call Frank Gay in three, two, I win! FrankGayServices.com do you find yourself stuck in a timeshare? Get the real facts about the timeshare industry and your options for cancellation. Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, has put together a free information guide that reveals the secrets the timeshare industry doesn't want you to know, including the five ways to get rid of your timeshare. Call now and get this timeshare information guide absolutely free. Call 800-919-3200. That's 800-919-3200. 800-919-3200. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Today, we're the largest injury firm in the world, and I'm thankful to you for trusting us all these years. We'll always be here for the people, not the powerful. Injured? The choice is easy. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. This earful of real radio is brought to you by JustCallMo.com. Injured on the go? JustCallMo.com. On the bright side, we're not dead yet. At the newsjunkie.com, and Phil emails a link and he said, People trying to play God, he sends me to. This live science article, which is pretty crazy. I missed this. I did not have this on my radar. And um, it says, 
South Korea's artificial sun, the K-Star reactor, has set a new fusion record. Like, they're testing out nuclear fusion with this thing. And it set a new record after superheating a plasma loop to 180 million degrees Fahrenheit. And All right. I can't even, like, you can't even imagine that. That's a, a temperature that's so high that you're, you can't even imagine it. 180 million degrees Fahrenheit. And they kept How it that way for... How far away from that thing do you have to be to be safe? <laughs> We're not far enough now, and it's in South That's Korea. That's what it sounds like. I don't trust this at all. It was at 180 million degrees. in South degrees. Korea right now. <laughs> Get them away. Get them out of there. It was like that for 48 seconds, they say. The Korea superconducting Tokamak Advanced Research Reactor broke the previous world record of 31 seconds, which was set by the same reactor back in 2021. The breakthrough is small, but an impressive step on the long haul uh, to trying to get near unlimited clean energy through nuclear fusion. So they have to be able to handle things this hot. How hot is the actual sun? 180 million degrees Fahrenheit. It's got to be. Is it close? I mean, Heat come on. Of the sun. Yeah. What, what temperature is the sun? 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. What? It means something oh, wait, hotter at than- the core. At the core, all right. So the outside is hotter? Or the surface no. of the sun's only 10,000 degrees. <laughs> so these guys did 100 million degrees? 180 million degrees too much Fahrenheit. Sun, bro. Yeah, that sounds like a bad idea. I'm with you, Phil. But I, if they I, how do we off, even cool. know that this is accurate? I don't know. Why are you questioning Ooh, their temp? Yes, I am. What, who, what if thermometer goes up to 180 million degrees? Your thermometer doesn't go up that high? <laughs> If it did, the, my thermometer would be in space. Uh, <laughs> I think that this, there's lots of thermometers that can... I have no idea, Celia. 180 billion degrees? Uh, this is a specialized tool, I'm assuming. This, this is a scientist. The last Maybe thermometer it. I saw that went up to 180 million was colored in from a fundraiser. <laughs> 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 true. Nice. Tips of the news, junkie.com. Hollywood Brad. Got a true and a nice. I'll take it. <laughs> Hollywood Brad says, hey, Sean, way behind, but I'm listening to the Friday podcast right now, and you just spent over 10 minutes talking about the Golden Bachelor. I feel like I need to ask you a question. You know that all those Bachelor and Bachelorette shows are fake, right? They're pretty much completely scripted, and I don't believe almost any of the people that go on those shows has any intention of actually falling in love. Maybe I'm just a cynic, but it seems to me most of those people go on the shows to get semi-famous and to get followers. These shows are the sports equivalent of professional wrestling, and I get people like to watch it, but that doesn't make it real. This was because we were talking about how the Golden Bachelor, uh, the couple broke up, and I said that uh, that show will never work because old people aren't flexible enough to uproot their lives to go live with each other. Anyway, it just seemed odd to me that you spent so much time talking about a marriage that was clearly a sham from the beginning. Loving the show is always Hollywood Brad. Uh, I disagree, and here's how I'll say this. I hated the idea of The Bachelor and The Bachelorette. I didn't want to watch any of that. I was like, this is bad TV. But Courtney wanted to watch it, and so I started watching it, and it sucks you in. And mm, it's, it's good TV. It's good, dramatic television. I particularly like Bachelor in Paradise, and I don't know that everybody's on a quest for love. I think many people are doing exactly what you're saying, trying to get on TV to get followers. But watching the show, there's a point at which you can sniff those people out. You can see the people who aren't really into it, who are just trying to get 100,000 followers. That's become part of the the narrative or part of the the thing, the stuff that they include in the show is like finding out who is just there for for clout. Like remember Mm -hmm. when they, they, uh, and remember when they're like, we're going to do random bag checks because I think they already knew this guy had something. Yeah. Uh, Where they found a dude that had like a, a folder or like a trapper keeper that was all these notes on how to get on TV more and how to get more exposure. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it's like, it's not even, a, they're not even hiding it, some of them. Well, they're trying to hide it, but it's, it becomes clear when you're watching it. However, watching the show, I said, how on earth could you meet somebody and over the course of weeks fall in love with that person enough to actually want to get married to them? But I believe it, dude. I uh, believe it. I've seen too much in these shows. Sheep. Well, Sheep. I, 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 think, I think it works. And I think it works the best on a show like Big Brother. And here's why. It's easy to fall in love with somebody if you're not 
distracted. All right. It's easy to fall in love with somebody if you're not distracted. On Look Big at Love Brother, is Blind. Love is Blind is another good example. But on these shows where they take your phone away from you and you're forced basically to get into long conversations with people, you can get to know somebody and you can get to know them pretty quickly. And when you get to know them quickly and you figure out you're like good fits for each other, even if it's friends or, you know, if it's like lovers, you figure that out at some point and then you spend more and more and more and more and more time with that person. And you can become in the right pressure cooker of a place you can become as in love with somebody in a, in a month as somebody could in a year because of the amount of time that you spent and the level of a connection that you built up. So I think on some of these shows, they really do form these connections. They really do fall in love. And some of them, like the Ari guy, he picked somebody and then he said, uh, takesy backsies. I don't actually want to marry you. Uh Oh, I should have married the blonde instead. And then he t- tells the woman that he picked, you know, we, we're going to break up. This is not going to work for me. And he goes to the other woman. He's still with that woman that he married. He's still with her. They have a bunch of kids. They're, you know, they're still in a relationship. And it's happened a couple of times. So, yes, it's television. Yes, a lot of the people are there for followers. But I think there's a spark that happens there. And I think people really can fall in love on, on some of these shows. Uh, it, it can happen. But... When they're boomers, mm. I don't I don't know if it works as well. Teresa, I'm sorry. It's just <laughs> not working out. <laughs> I hate that nice. guy. I hate <laughs> Jerry. The goblin deserves better. I don't know why she even went with him to begin with. She's a sweet lady. Nice woman. Rich. She's nice rich. goblin. <laughs> yeah, she's she's everything is good about her. And he just I don't know, man. I'm you saying didn't they found give me enough allowance money and you want me to leave. My home in Indiana to come live with you. I think if they found something on Jerry's hard drive, it wouldn't blow my mind. <laughs> uh, would I be? Huh? Yeah. So I come. Makes something sense. like what? Uh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Uh, not going to that. You don't want to accuse Jerry of anything? No, all good. All good over here. <laughs> Uh, a New York City high schooler creates astonishingly accurate AI algorithm for 911 callers to get the help that they actually need. Pierce Wright, 17 years old, while you were doing your science fair project about which bubblegum brand has flavor that lasts the longest, he was redoing the 911 program in the United States of America. He says, if the algor- algorithm says, I think it's a mental health call, then you send a psychiatrist or a mental health professional with the EMS crew to assist the patient and provide more appropriate care, they said. It's saving time for the patient and the city as well. It's also able to free up an ambulance much faster. So he's he's sort of redone this, and it says it could assist emergency dispatchers by predicting when a caller is enduring a mental health episode. Um, I like that. I think that's good. But I think if you just go, this person is in the middle of a mental health episode, we don't necessarily need armed law enforcement, you're being dumb. You're not being aware enough to know of the threat that is posed in some of these uh, situations. They should have an officer there to make sure everything's calm. Then when everything's calm, bring in a professional to try to help the family out or whoever's dealing with that. I think that's good. But this kid used AI to redo the 911 system, and they say they might start using what he did in New York, which is good because 911 went down yesterday in multiple states it was down in nebraska nevada and uh some of texas i think you would call 911 and nothing would happen which is Mm -hmm. a little scary uh we got jury duty for you and it is coming up in just a bit on the show we got a lot more on a thursday so don't miss out on it plus somebody else got hit in new york city but They made it a little more interesting. There's a little something extra to the story. What is it? It's coming up next on the News Junkie. Your chance to win a grand in your hand is minutes away on Real Radio 104.1. Brought to you by Mills Air. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center. Shop the best quality jewelry and lowest price. Goldsmithjewelry.com. 
Traveling on I-4 westbound, there's a bit of delays over the St. John's River Bridge. Around the perimeter of I-4, no major problems on State Road 429, and it's pretty mellow on the Greenway. There's a couple earlier accidents to watch out for on Semarin Boulevard at Hoffner Avenue at Forest City Road eastbound at Palm Springs Drive. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Florida Prepaid College Savings Plans. Florida Prepaid College Plans work great alongside scholarships and financial aid. And now, prepaid plans start at just $34 a month. That's the lowest price in 10 years. Don't miss your chance to lock in 2024 plan prices. Florida prepaid open enrollment ends April 30th. Mills Air and Business since 1992. That's over 30 years here in Central Florida. They're not going anywhere. Carrier factory authorized dealer. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier. Equipment change yachts and upgrades right now with up to $1,275 in rebates. Visit MillsAir.com. This earful of real radio is brought to you by JustCallMo.com. Injured on the go? JustCallMo.com. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. They're U.S based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues and all plans are backed by the million dollar protection package which means if you lose money because of identity theft a lifelock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan help protect your information with lifelock go to lifelock.com and save up to 25 percent your first year with my name clay as your promo code whether it's food from meetings or company events, Easy Cater has everything you need to make food for work work. And that means all you have to do is sit back and take credit. Mm, wow, a vegan and a meat lover taco bar? Jill, you're the best. Oh, all I did was use Easy Cater. Take the credit, Jill. Well, I guess I sort of... Take it. Invented taco bars. Too far, Jill. Too far. Easy Cater has everything you need to make food for work work. 100,000 restaurants, one platform. Order 24-7 at easycater.com. Need a reboot? R.C. Hill here from R.C. Hill Mitsubishi. Spring has sprung, so let's have some fun. This month, I'll help you reboot your old ride and save up to $8,000 on a new Mitsubishi. So if your old ride's a hunk of junk, don't let it leave you in a funk. You can even drive a new car today with a lifetime warranty. Like the Mitsubishi Mirage 43 miles per gallon starting at 15.9. The popular Eclipse Cross, in stock and ready for delivery. Or the 2024 Outlander, five-star safety rated, starting at 23.9. So if you've been dreaming of driving a new RC Hill Mitsubishi, don't get your wires crossed, because my team works hard every day, and that's what makes us different. So this week, reboot your old ride, and you could save up to $8,000 on a nicer, newer car. But hurry, a deal this good will shut down fast. I'm RC Hill, and I'm your car dealer next door. Two locations, Deland and Ocala. See all my trendy rides at rchill.com. That's rchill.com. Credit requires bank approval. Negative equity may be refinanced. Vehicle purchase price determines actual discount. Help keep our community safe and healthy during National Prescription Drug Take Back Day, April 27th. Find a collection site near you at deatakeback.com. Do your part to lower overdose deaths and prevent drug misuse before it starts. I'm tired of everything being so expensive in 2024. Ooh, so I turned my truck into a time machine to travel back in time. I'm just going to press this button and... Holy cow, I think it worked. Let's see what happens if I buy something at this drive through Welcome to McDonald's. Would you like to choose any two for $3.79? <laughs> it did work. Uh, uh, yes, my good lady. And what does $3.79 buy me in this bygone day and time? Well, you can get a McChicken, a McDouble, a four-piece chicken McNuggets, a small fries, or a small soft drink. Choose any two. What a delight. I'll have the McDouble and a small fries. Uh, just $3.79, you say? Yes, sir. Just one more question. Do you know what year it is? Uh, it's 2024, sir? Uh-huh. I see. I see. The button I pressed changed the radio station. Very good. Very good. I'll take the McDouble and the small fries for three seventy nine. dollars post haste. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Single item at regular price. I have diabetes. I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. I have asthma. I'm at risk, too. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine, a Pfizer vaccine that can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 
20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. Don't let spring allergies make you miserable. Try the quick drug-free solution trusted by over 4 million people, Navage. Only Navage uses suction to flush out your sinuses using refreshing saline, helping you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel healthier. And here's even better news. Navage is now available at your local Sam's Club in a great new value pack. It's everything you need to start breathing better immediately at Sam's guaranteed best price. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E. Breathe easy. Do you have AC needs? Turn to the experts at Carrier. Go to millsair.com. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because you deserve better. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Real Radio has your chance to win $1,000. Just enter this nationwide keyword on our website. Fun. F-U-N. Fun. Enter it now on our website, realradio.fm. Good luck. Riding the daily roller coaster of viral news from the front row. that some of these bands are still touring. It blows my mind. You see, there's a festival going on, like Sunfest, of course. Sunfest is a big, giant festival. Mm-hmm. they got to book a lot of people. And you see the lineup, and you go, son of a bitch, that band is still around. They're still performing. And they said at Sunfest, they were supposed to have a performance from the band The Fix, which, do you guys know who The Fix is? Uh, I'm sure that I've heard something by them. One thing leads to another is oh, one yeah. of their songs, which I think was in like the '80s or something. I, I don't know much of it. I just I heard it when I was uh, when it you know was like already uh, an the older fix song. With two X's. Yeah, yeah, the, the fix. fix. And I'm like, oh, the fix was still together. And they said, who are they going to replace them with? Quiet Riot. And again, I'm like, well, these bands are still around. They're out there. They're doing their thing. And yeah, they are. Come on, feel the noise from 1983. Quiet Riot, still together. The lead singer Kevin Dubro died of a drug overdose in 2007, according to uh, WPTV. Uh, and always uh, interested in how they spelled the title of that that song. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah it seemed a little. Eminem had a similar thing going on one of his yeah. albums. Um, Come on, feel the noise. You can see it live. Quiet Riot out there. Like these bands playing that you you're just blown away that they still exist out there. Now, thanks to C Lane, I would really like to see a performance from the one and only John Parr just <laughs> singing the St. Elmo's Fire song. And I've never seen St. Elmo's Fire, not once in Neither my life. Not, not even a second of it. But I go, I go, I don't know that song, C Lane. And C Lane goes, Yes, you do. And he's like, uh, I don't need a man in motion. I don't need a pair of wheels. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, ah, oh, 
I know that. And higher and higher. And higher I'm like, and higher. Yeah. yeah. I was like, I know That's that song. That's a banger. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Me and some friends have uh, uh, a new playlist obsession. Uh, yacht Rock be damned. I mean, Yacht Rock's fun, and it, uh, there is a place for Yacht Rock. Uh, but uh, the next big thing for us is Publix Bangers. Uh-huh. And it is the the <laughs> absolute the absolute just spitfire perfect playlist of songs that you would only hear walking the aisles of a Publix. Right. It's grocery store rock. Is there an actual name for this genre of music? Publix okay. bangers. That's what yeah, we call them. I mean, it really it, it does hit the nail on the head. And because while you're there's you're a lot. like pushing your cart around the aisles of the grocery store, you find yourself, oh man, emotion you're you're loving it, man. You didn't even know you were going to be excited. Run through the holes in my oh, eyes. What else is on that playlist? Let's see. Uh, 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 Higher Love by Steve Winwood. Yes. Uh, let's see. That's such a great song. This is a Broken Wings by Mr. Mister. Uh-huh. I think Curie by Mr. Mister also uh, falls under there. I mean, there's newer stuff too. There's a, you know All I Want to Do, Cheryl Crow. Uh, there's some Huey. You know, there's some Huey Lewis in the news. Uh, no one by Alicia Keys. D- 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 Uptown girl. I'm pretty sure I've heard that. At a po- How to yeah. save a life by the fray. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind it's of a, depressing for grocery it shopping. Is, it is a little bit, but somehow in the mix, it makes sense. You know, we could. That, it's a backup job for us. We'll the, all be the on thing that I'm scrolling radio. right now is like an embed, so it's so incredibly tiny that I could only read three song titles at a time. <laughs> Someday <laughs> by Mariah Carey. Uh, that that uh, the way it is by Bruce Hornsby in the range that is death ah. and the living years by Mike and the Mechanics these are yeah. these are deep deep public cuts they're all these songs something like, about you by level forty two if if you and your friend are on a trip and you're in the car and it comes on the radio it's that moment where you go. I won't change it if you won't change it. I'm fine with <laughs> exactly. it if you're fine like with that it. that scene in Tommy Boy. Yeah, and then I fast forward the to, to the chorus, and you're like, oh, man, emotion. I, I was almost positive you were going to say that scene in um, uh, Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. I was thinking that, too. Where they got the, the most extreme mix when they stole those guys' Hummer, and the first one, the first song on the most extreme mix was Wilson Phillips. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> good song though good i would argue it could go on that list perhaps maybe uh-huh. it would work it's a dangerous time to be wandering the streets of new york city i mean i think that's always kind of the case it's it's a big city with a lot of problems a lot of crazy people and now we have something to add to the list of people who are just getting attacked randomly by folks on the streets this is uh, unprovoked nothing led to this at all have it on the Lower East Side, and this woman is walking along just trying to live her life in New York City, and some crazy person attacks her with a hockey stick and starts hitting her on East 6th Street, they said. 26-year-old, she was hit without warning, according to authorities, and I can tell you, that's no fun. It hurts. It's, it hurts to get hit with a hockey stick. I tried to play hockey one time. Uh, and then for a while, I had a friend who was smoking crack. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> true story. <laughs> All right. This is a true story. Had a friend named Vince. I will not say anything more uh, than that. His name is Vince. Old crack Vince. Vince and man. Vince had a penchant for crack for a short period of time. And I kid you not, but we would be at this guy's house and we'd be like, where'd Vince go? What's going on? And like, oh, he took the hockey stick and he's wandering around looking for people to hit with a hockey stick because you know, he's on crack. And I go, well, that seems like a problem. You know, it seems like maybe we should rein him in. We should get a, a hang on this. Vince uh, now doing great as as far as I know. Now oh, doing good. good. Yeah, no longer doing the crack. And it's a good decision. If you ask yourself this question, just, just as you're listening, run this through. No, it's not Vince Veal. Stop with it. Does not have a food related? It's not Vince Spaghetti. <laughs> Does that have a food-related last name? Vince like Parmesan. <laughs> We're going to call him that. He's Vince Parmesan, all right? And he was into the crack for a little while. And if you ask yourself this question, am I doing crack right now? And the answer is yes. You need to stop. Okay? Because I've seen what it can do to people's lives. And it must seem like so much fun while you're doing it. But you got to resist the fun of crack. 
It's one of my sayings, you know, you got to resist the fun of crack. Sean Watson, 2024. (laughs) (laughs) It's a Sean Watson quote because it must be such a blast. Like it must be uh, the most exciting, fun thing in the world. But you can't give in and do that. Yeah. When you, You're you hypothetical here, asking yourself the question, am I smoking crack right now? Does that rely on you actually knowing the answer? Yeah. <laughs> or do you need, you're asking the question because you, you don't right, know the on. answer. Let, let me rephrase. If you ask yourself the question. I, like I'm smoking <laughs> something. Don't know if it's crack. <laughs> Did I smoke crack this week? All right. That's a better question. Because if you're on crack, you might not have a correct answer. You might go. I'm on crack right now, and I feel amazing. You might be thrilled with it because you're hooked on the the good stuff. Man, it must be a time. Uh, anyhow, New York City lady got hit with a uh, with a hockey stick. Now you know. Mm. Um, I have some more information about the the California minimum wage because we were talking about that and how prices went up at all their fast food places. Big surprise, of course, that's going to happen. I said my concern is not just that prices are going up. If prices go up three percent at Taco Bell. You can absorb that. You can absorb the cost going up 3% at the Taco Bell, even 8% at the Chipotle, even though Chipotle is way overpriced and super expensive. Um, But I said the bigger problem is the fast food restaurants will utilize this to thin the herd of employees that they have, and they'll have like half the staff uh, because it costs more to have them. So there'll be fewer positions that are open for this, and they also cut many, many people who are full-time down to part-time to get around this. Here's from the state of California how that law works, AB1228. What is the new law that raises the minimum wage for fast food employees? AB1228 is a new law in California. It says it increases the minimum wage for, quote, fast food restaurant employees. So it's very specific about that. Second, it establishes a fast food council, which is empowered both to make future increases to the minimum wage and to adopt uh, other minimum employment standards for fast food restaurants. When does it take effect? April 1st. They said uh, people who are at fast food restaurants with uh, at chain level, you know, they've got enough establishments. They're paid $20 an hour. Does an employer covered by the new law have to post a new minimum wage? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yes, they said. Can an employer increase the amount of meal or lodging credits that count toward the minimum wage? No, it has to be actually $20 an hour that they're paying. Can a city pass an ordinance to work around this? No, you can't. Who are fast food employees? The restaurant has to be part of a chain of at least 60 establishments nationwide. An establishment is a single restaurant location offering food or beverages to customers. Um, So, yeah, it has to have 60 locations and be a limited service restaurant in California. It offers limited or no table service where the customers order food or beverage items and pay for those items to be consumed. So technically, if McDonald's said we're going to set this up so you sit down at the table and then there's a screen there, and you order your food at the booth inside the McDonald's, and then we bring your food out to you, they could work around this and not have to pay $20 an hour, if I'm picking that hmm. up right. It's, hmm. uh, that would be a workaround on this one. But they won't. All they'll do is fire half their employees. They'll choose a couple of good ones to pay $20 an hour, and they'll buy robots, robots, robots. And just like I told you, eventually we'll see a situation where, where you pull up to the fast food establishment and there is one person who is working there and all the rest is robots. And the one person just feeding things into the robots to make you your order. And those entry-level jobs disappear. And younger people have less options to get started in the workforce. That's what actually the think? place where they buy the robots. It's what it's called. Robots, robots, robots. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, why go anywhere else? That seems like a great place to go. When we come back, we'll hit up your dispatches. And I'll talk about the story of something insanely frightening that went down on a cruise ship been some bad news for cruise ships as of late what happened here that's coming up next on the news chunky real radio is on facebook at real radio 1041 sponsored by the law offices of anajar and levine accident attorneys have you been in an accident call the law offices of anajar and levine at 1-800-747-FREE that's 1-800-747-3733 from the Klausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Klausman Law. KlausmanLaw.com. Traffic is up to speed on Florida's Turnpike over St. John's River Bridge. No major delays on I-4 there. Around the perimeter of I-4, traffic is up to speed on State Road 429 in the Greenway. There's earlier accidents to watch out for Summerin Boulevard southbound at Hoffner Avenue and Forest City Road eastbound at Palm Springs Drive. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. 
This report is sponsored by Positive Coaching Alliance. Got issues with youth or high school sports? Positive Coaching Alliance can help. PCA, a national nonprofit, offers more than a 1,000 free online resources for youth and high school sports coaches, parents, students, and administrators. Visit PCADevZone.org. Hi, everybody. It's Savannah Guthrie here with Hoda Kotb from the Today Show. You know that saying, you learn something new every day? Well, it is so true. Yes, every morning on Today, it's those little tips that can help save you time and improve your day. From the simplest ways to save money right now to incredible kitchen and cleaning hacks that you never knew existed. Just remember, see it, hear it, learn it on Today. Oh, that's genius. You just saved me 40 bucks. Every morning right here on NBC. Another happy Safe Light customer. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. There I was driving down the highway when out of nowhere a rock hits my windshield. Ah, so annoying. But then I remembered Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. I booked my appointment at SafeLight.com. And with my insurance, my new windshield was no cost to me. Safe Light even handled my insurance claim, which was the best. Cracked windshield? Just go to SafeLight.com and let Safe Light take care of everything. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. Nervous about investing in college savings right now? Florida Prepaid has a plan for you. Our 529 prepaid plans are 100% risk free because they're backed by the state of Florida. So you can never lose your investment. And now, prepaid plans start at just $34 a month. Open enrollment only happens once a year, so don't miss your chance to lock in the lowest prepaid plan prices in 10 years. Florida prepaid open enrollment ends April 30th. Find your plan today. If you're the victim of a car crash, never rush to settle with the insurance companies and never settle for just any attorney. Demand Anna Jar Levine. Call 1-800-747-FREE for a free consultation and take back control of your life. In Office Orlando. Do you need your contractor's license? In four short weekends with Camtech School of Construction, you'll be able to ace the state exam. Get legal, get licensed, get Camtech. Join us for a free info seminar tonight at 7 p.m. at the Orlando Wyndham Garden. CamtechSchool.com. Join Jim Colbert on the Jim Colbert Show for his Cigar of the Week segment every Friday afternoon at 345. You can pick up these featured cigars at all three Corona Cigar Company locations, Dr. Phillips, Heathrow, and downtown. Learn more at coronacigar.com. My wife and I both, we ended up mildly sick for a few months, and the nasal congestion was probably the worst part. I had like a post-nasal drip, just super congested all the time. We were taking everything we possibly could, but nothing really worked. Kyrie was miserable until a friend recommended Navage. Navage offers immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus, germs, and other airborne irritants. Don't live in misery this cold season. Use Navage so you can breathe easier sleep better and feel your best right away the biggest thing navage has done has completely cleaned out my nasal passages it, it was from the first use i was able to just clear out anything that was stopping me from breathing correctly navage helps me clear the way literally clear the way for me to operate better in the rest of my life experience the navage difference yourself navage is available at navage.com or at walmart walgreens cvs and rite aid navage nav A-G-E. Whether it's food from meetings or company events, Easy Cater has everything you need to make food for work work. And that means all you have to do is sit back and take credit. Mm, wow, a vegan and a meat lover taco bar? Jill, you're the best. Oh, all I did was use Easy Cater. Take the credit, Jill. Well, I guess I sort of... Take it. Invented taco bars. Too far, Jill. Too far. Easy Cater has everything you need to make food for work work. 100,000 restaurants, one platform. Order 24-7 at easycater.com. At Mayo Clinic in Florida, we are predicting the unpredictable. Our experts are using a patient's own anatomy to create 3D printed life-size organ models to map out challenges ahead of time, making complex surgeries more precise, efficient, and less invasive. We are making more possible at Mayo Clinic because every day we're doing what's never been done. Learn more at mayoclinic.org slash possible. Mayo Clinic, you know where to go. Help DEA keep our community safe and healthy by participating in National Prescription Drug Take Back Day, Saturday, April 27th. Take action right in your own home by cleaning out your medicine cabinet of unneeded medications. Keep them safe, clean them out, take them back. Find a collection site near you at deatakeback.com. 
Do your part to lower overdose deaths and prevent prescription drug misuse before it starts. That's DEATakeBack.com. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you to explore right now, like One Hit Wonders Radio. The greatest one-hit wonders of all time. Ones you definitely remember. And ones that'll make you say, oh yeah. Just open the free iHeartRadio app, search One Hit Wonders, and listen now, commercial free. Free never sounded so good. No payments till next year. On top of closeout prices, click OrlandoNissan.com. Real Radio has your chance to win $1,000. Just enter this nationwide keyword on our website, FUN, F-U-N, FUN. Enter it now on our website, realradio.fm. Good luck. Let's take a ride, we'll take a ride. I wouldn't leave here without you. Junkie Radio Show. I was like, what? <laughs> Something is wrong. I have to hit too, there's too many things when we come back from break, and I'm hitting them all at the same time, and every once in a while, every once in a while, uh, I'll miss one. There you go. Uh, I have a question for the both of you, Josh and Sea Lane. All right. Mm -hmm. Question is this. How old were you the very first time you ever drove a car? And we could put that kind of in quotes. Like, if you're... Um, you know, your parents were in the car with you and they're like, oh, we're in the parking lot or uh, it doesn't matter. Like just one time that you drove the car and you actually had the steering wheel and you were in control. How old were you the first time you ever did that? Fifteen. Fifteen years old. Pussy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it makes him a pussy. That's not me. That's my parents. <laughs> How uh, old I were was you? fourteen. 14 years old Pussy. and um, most, <laughs> there most was, of the time there was like some time uh, in my life where like because obviously when you're growing up you're like Man, I don't want to drive the cars because the coolest thing ever I have to wait Hell so yeah. long so my parents would let me start the car and I thought oh, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah brother and that's then, not nearly as cool and then for a while uh, both my parents I don't know if it was ever at the same time but uh, my parents both at some point drove stick shift cars, and I learned yeah. on a stick shift car. But when I was little, they would let me do the, the, the stick shift part. Like uh -huh. They would hit the clutch, and they'd be like, all right, go to second. All right, go to third. And I was like, all right, you, yeah. You feel like you're part of something. You're like, this, this is really cool. something my dad can hold his beer. Eric on <laughs> YouTube says, I was 13. Uh, my dad let me drive around the parking lot. I always launched the boats because my dad couldn't back up the trailer. So he was 13. Oh, yeah. Sunstate John says, I was six years old. I used to drive a vehicle all over the property. Can you even reach the pedals at six years old? My God. It strapped That's... a brick to his foot. Yeah, yeah, right? Are they put them on like a, uh... well, I guess it wouldn't help. I was going to say put them on, on the yellow pages. That would help them see maybe, but that would push you even further away from the pedals. That's not good. Uh, Jason says, come on, Watson. When you were born, people were still using horse and carriages. I am not that old, sir. I'm a young whippersnapper, and I'm right about its tripper weight right now. Yeah, the Model T was out. Yeah, the, no, the Model T. Get out of here. When <laughs> I was right, born, it was the Model B. <laughs> uh, you know, it was out when I was born. Uh, all the regular same cars that are out now. Those cars. Well, actually, oh, not Tesla's, all Teslas. Check me. No, Tesla. <laughs> Teslas weren't out. And back then, electric cars were not cool. Uh, I, there weren't even that many. I don't think in the '80s. Somebody said took the stick shift from Al a Popka to Altamont at 13 years old, broke the clutch, and had to call my dad. Ooh, that's that's not uh, a fun call, I'm sure. A lot of people like this sitting on my dad's lap. Couldn't even reach the pedals. We spent a lot of time riding around in the woods. It shows where you grew up and how you grew up based on your answer to that question. Oh, and I have a question because a lot of people are saying like, all right, that guy said that one guy said he was like 13 and he was uh, helping his dad back the car, back the boat in. His mm -hmm. dad couldn't do it by himself. A lot of the people that are chiming in say 12 years old. My uncle let me drive up my grandma's lane. It was a mile long. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of property if you own, if, the, if, you're, yeah. if your driveway's a mile long. Other person says, Texas, 10 years old, by myself, around the farm. Uh, uh, Evil Eye, 9 years old, farm boy. Somebody else, 7. All these farm kids. 
Is it legal? I, I mean, you've got to think that there wouldn't be anything mm. wrong. Can they stop you from driving a vehicle on your own property? I don't know. And, I, and, I'll, and I'll reference the story where we talk about one of the weird things about being the president is that once you're elected president, you're never supposed to drive a car again. Yeah. Like, for whatever reason, they don't let you, and are they being Ooh. the Secret Service or something, but if you ever want to drive a car, you have to, like, sneak it. Except George W. Bush has a bunch of farmland in Texas, and they say that he, because he's on a private property, is allowed to drive his truck around the, <laughs> the farm. <laughs> now so, watch me drive. <laughs> so one would assume that because that loophole exists, uh huh. Does there? I mean, does there also? Is that because he has a license? Maybe. Um, uh, man, I don't know. I guess it's just not viewed as illegal if it's not on a state owned or like a federal road. This sounds like it's this sounds like the loophole that's not that's not even a real loophole. Uh says when we were kids we used to just spray paint farm use on the back of an old vehicle on the farm <laughs> and drive it anywhere we wanted to around town. That's the equivalent of these people who post on Facebook. Uh, as of this date, I do not consent to Facebook using my <laughs> photographs. Yeah, that's, that's not a real thing, I don't think. The reason I asked this question is because there's a story today about a young man who was maybe on his first driving adventure, uh, unless things are even worse in the household than I would imagine. A 28-year-old woman was arrested after cops found her passed out in the back seat of her vehicle. Her 8-year-old was behind the wheel driving the wrong way down a street in St. Louis. The cops were dispatched to the area, and they said, uh, something's not right here. This, this kid does not look old enough to drive. There was also a 3-year-old in the car, not strapped into a car seat, and mom was arrested uh, on the scene, obviously. Uh, but this kid, my God, he's eight years old. They said she was allegedly driving, but told the boy to take the wheel so she could get comfortable in the back of the car. Makes sense. <laughs> you imagine that your parents putting that stress on you when you're eight years old. Your mom's like, I'm going to go sit in the back. You drive this thing. And the kid's like, all right, here's my opportunity. Grab the steering wheel and start stealing that or start steering that thing down the road. And you just got to make the most of it. But uh, he went the wrong way. And like I said, if this was not his first experience, then mom should be in even more trouble. Uh, and let's keep that mom away from these kids until she cleans up her getting, life a little bit. Getting great texts about this. Somebody said, uh, oh, I got to scroll for this one because everybody's chiming in. Uh, my dad made me drive his drunk ass to Crystal's when I was 11 at 3 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> You're a mess. <laughs> Get it together. Hell no. Are you kidding? Wait, you're 11 years old, and you're like, oh, dad, you're a mess. You're so drunk. He's like, take me to Crystal's. I'm like, I get to drive a car. Yeah, that's like the, the coolest right thing ever. Also, you get to get in the driver's seat and go, don't touch the radio. I'm driving. I pick what we listen to. Shout Sesame out to Street. the employees working the drive through of the Crystal's burger place. Who didn't call the cops on the 11-year-old driving his drunk dad through and ordering some I food? I mean, they work at Crystal. <laughs> what are they going to do? Uh, I look at this stuff and I go, I don't. I only saw my parents drunk maybe once or twice in my life. My parents saw me drunk far more times than that, but <laughs> I only saw them drunk a handful of times. I, and I cannot imagine somebody like, hey, look. I'm rip roaring drunk. We got we got to go get some food. So you're 11 years old. You're a man now. <laughs> get behind the wheel. We're driving to the crystals. That's an experience right there. Let us know yours. We love to hear from you. Go over to the newsjunkie.com and hit record on your first dispatch right now. Lots of stories on this. Drunk parents needing to ride is is a good opportunity. Yeah, I guess so. We we had a friend in high school who uh, we wanted to. We wanted to do some uh, some drinking ourselves, and mm -hmm. dad dad was already a little toasty, mm -hmm. and uh, and so we're like, hey, once if we uh, if we drive you to the liquor store, will you buy us booze? And he's like, yeah, 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 sure, let's have a good time. And I could tell he was toasty because we got into my car. We ha I hadn't started drinking yet, I, so I was like, I'll drive over to the Albertsons, and he can go you know go and get us uh, you know get us our stuff. Yeah, and he. 
That dad climbed in the back of my Ford Explorer and lit a cigarette. And I was like, my parents are going to freak out. <laughs> That's what you're worried about. But I was like, I got, what am I going to do? He's buying us alcohol. I need him. <laughs> so it, uh, it, it's hard to tell him, like, hey, man, uh, you can't smoke in here. <laughs> uh, Limp Sticks It on YouTube says, I was 14. I took my grandmother's car and picked up a pimp in downtown Pittsburgh. He got me and my friend our first um, mouth action from his hose. <laughs> And let us smoke a bunch of crack. One of the best days of my life. <laughs> Sir, if that's true, you got a book to write. All right. If that was your <laughs> first experience, you're like Anthony Kaitis or Kitas or whatever yeah, from yeah. Red Hot Chili Peppers, uh, where his dad got him a hooker for his birthday. That's that's a whole different life right there. John Leguizamo also made that claim in one of his specials. Did he? Yeah. 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 You got a prostitute for his birthday from yeah. his parents? Yeah, he, he said that she was wearing uh, green lipstick because she thought red meant stop. Uh, <laughs> edgy. He was always better at acting than stand-up. He's a great I liked actor. his uh, one-man specials. He's super good in movies. Like he was, I think, was he in Spun? Was John Leguizamo in Spun? Yes. Spun yeah. was an uncomfortable movie to watch. And uh, Romeo and Juliet. Oh, that's right. Mm. He was in that. I love him as an actor. Moulin Rouge. Uh, this is the story I teased, so let me pay this off. A pregnant passenger aboard Disney Fantasy had this to be airlifted. Is crazy. Did you see this? Had to be airlifted from the cruise ship after experiencing health complications. The U.S. Coast Guard said the cruise line requested medevac services with its San Juan, Puerto Rico sector due to a 35-year-old woman who was requiring a higher level of medical care ashore. So they sent a chopper 180 miles to pick this woman up. And they said video shows the, the woman getting into the chopper and then carrying her in a stretcher out of there. How much is that bill afterwards? Pretty you got to be charged, right? The co if, if the Coast Guard picks you up, even if it's a medical issue, the Coast Guard picks you up and it's going to bring you to the hospital. That costs money, right? Well, say that. Well, sure. You, you said it was a medevac, which is not technically yeah. Coast Guard. Um, I don't know which is the bigger bill. Well, it says a Coast Guard MH-60T Jayhawk helicopter and, and, and another aircraft from Miami made their way to the ship spot uh, and picked them up. Yeah, they requested medevac services, and that's who came out there, and then they brought them to a hospital. If that costs money, which it seems like it might, I don't know. Like, would, would you, if you got lost at sea, would you have to pay for your own rescue from the Coast Guard? Did they send you a bill for that? I think so. I don't. Don't you have to, like... Pay, uh, we, we talked on the show like a, a week or two ago how you can get fined if the cruise ship has to stop because you drop something off of there, right? Mm -hmm. or, or if they have to, if they have to stop a cruise ship for, and it's your fault, you have, you get fined, I think. I think so. Uh, that makes sense to me, at least. As, a, as the words are coming out, I was like, I don't remember if we were actually right about this when we were talking about it last <laughs> time. That's risky. Uh, they, this person says, do you have to pay the Coast Guard if they rescue you? Um, but, 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 nope. It's a story, but it doesn't say. Oh, it depends. You may have to pay heavy fines if your voyage has been found to be manifestly unsafe. Otherwise, no, this person says. Generally, no, but it might depend on the reason that you're rescued. If you were having to pay that, God, would that be pricey. I know even Traumahawk or whatever you want to call it, medevac stuff to the hospital, very expensive. Even, uh, for God's sake, Paramedics having an ambulance come pick mm. you up is oh, yeah. super expensive. You get that bill. The Did Thomas uh, get one of those bills when you guys? <laughs> one, 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 we only had to go like one block, and it was pricey. Oh God, that's that hurts. That's a but lot. But he got right discharged there. the same day, and he felt like a million bucks yeah. after that <laughs> IV drip. I mean, just that was the way to go. Must be what nice. A, what a good guy. Uh, okay, we're gonna take a break. When we come back, I assure you, I promise you. That we will do the final dispatch. Nope. We'll do the stories that didn't make the cut. Nope. And we'll do today. I learned to wrap everything up for a Thursday. That's all coming up next on the news junkie. Real radio is real music weekends. This weekend on real radio 104.1. This weather report is brought to you by Mills air. 
Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your forecast on this Thursday. And for the rest of the day, we're expecting temperatures to be on the warmer side. We'll expect highs to climb well into the upper 80s and low 90s, the high of 90 degrees on the way for Orlando. We'll expect a partly to mostly sunny sky. We'll have some upper level clouds, meaning some thin, wispy clouds overhead. By this weekend, we'll start to see temperatures become even hotter with highs well into the low and mid 90s. For the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Jessica Dobson. This report is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan Injury Law Firm. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Today, we're the largest injury firm in the world, and I'm thankful to you for trusting us all these years. We'll always be here for the people, not the powerful. Injured, the choice is easy. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. One of my favorite things about that Mortgage Guy Don from ThatMortgageGuyDon.com is the fact that he is part of the Real Radio family. That's right, every Saturday morning, you can hear the Home Loans Radio Show. Hear Don and his crew answer your questions live on the air, pull back the curtain on the mortgage business, explain the real mortgage process to you because he wants you to know how it works. Get the process started today with an expert and a friend that you could trust by going to ThatMortgageGuyDon.com. Discover a career that matters at the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs. Be part of an innovative team delivering world-class health care and benefits to America's veterans. Enjoy robust benefits, work-life balance, and career development opportunities. Join a diverse and inclusive community that values your unique background and skills, a community where nearly one in three of your colleagues are veterans themselves. Apply now at vacareers.va.gov. Did you know that your largest investment asset might not be your retirement account or home? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. Most people don't realize that their life insurance policy is actually an asset they can sell. But for almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. We've even created a free policy value calculator at abacuspays.com so you can find out in seconds what we might pay for your policy. There are no fees and no obligations, just information. Knowing the value of your life insurance policy is as important as knowing the value of your home, your equity portfolio, or your finances in total. Discover the valuable information you need to understand the current market value for your life insurance, and then get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Visit abacuspays.com to learn more and use our free policy value calculator today. Do you have three ex-wives and your current trophy wife wants a life insurance policy three times the size of the policies you had to purchase for your previous mistakes? If so, you need to call Big Lou at Term Provider, 800-777-1979. Big Lou is intimately familiar with your problems, and if you're 50 or 60 years old and in reasonably good health, a $1 million policy should only cost about $100 to $200 per month. Big Lou may have a solution for your previous policies as well. You may even save enough money to lighten the load on your new $1 million policy. Remember, call Big Lou. He's like you, except he's only on number two. Call Term Provider at 800-777-1979. That's 800-777-1979. For a million dollars in term life insurance that you can live with, call Big Lou at 800-777-1979. 800-777-1979. Don't let spring allergies make you miserable. Try the quick drug-free solution trusted by over 4 million people. Navage. Only Navage uses suction to flush out your sinuses using refreshing saline, helping you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel healthier. And here's even better news. Navage is now available at your local Sam's Club in a great new value pack. It's everything you need to start breathing better immediately at Sam's guaranteed best price. Navage. N-A-V-A-G-E. Breathe easy. Did you know that your largest investment asset might not be your retirement account or home? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. Most people don't realize that their life insurance policy is actually an asset they can sell. But for almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. We've even created a free policy value calculator at abacuspays.com so you can find out in seconds what we might pay for your policy. There are no fees and no obligations, just information. 
Knowing the value of your life insurance policy is as important as knowing the value of your home, your equity portfolio, or your finances in total. Discover the valuable information you need to understand the current market value for your life insurance, and then get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Visit abacuspays.com to learn more and use our free policy value calculator today. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial free stations like One Hit Wonders. This is the story of the day. Just search One Hit Wonders and listen now on your free iHeartRadio app. Local grocery store. This earful of real radio is brought to you by JustCallMo.com. Injured on the go? JustCallMo.com. Real. No Watching the world burn with some friends since 2007. This that didn't make the cut. And today I learned to wrap everything up for a Thursday. Let me take this opportunity, honestly and sincerely, to thank you for hanging out with us so to thank you for listening to the show you have a lot of options in the radio and podcasting and streaming world and you for some reason have decided to choose us so thank you for that all right so special but, yeah i feel so special. special i do i feel a little special that you joined us here today let's get to the final dispatches that c lane was sure that i was not going to do today no i just saw how much time we have left so there'll be at least more than one <laughs> <laughs> got some time to burn. We got nice, relaxing, stretch your legs time here at the Ooh. end of the show. Here goes nothing. Here's Cheeky Michelle with the dispatch. About a year and a half ago, I was helicoptered 40 miles for a traumatic brain injury. Damn. I ended up getting 72 staples. Um, thankfully, totally fine. The bill was $123,000 for the helicopter, Whoa. and the insurance paid all but the deductible. You know what? Love you. Thank you, guys. I don't want to be that guy. But how can we make sense of this? How is this not yet another another indictment of our health care set up in the United States of America? How is it not? I can go about four miles from here, I think about four or five miles from where I am, and there's a place where you can get in a helicopter, and they'll fly, fly around, and you look at things like, oh, here you go. We're in the helicopter. We're flying around. And then I think I hand the person $50, and that's what it costs to do that. But if I have a heart attack and I need a meta flight, then it's a hundred and something thousand dollars for. Well, there's got to be <laughs> nurses aboard that take care of you, and uh... okay, so I can see a little bit of an increase. But like, it's like going from Uber helicopter prices. Helicopter gas is pretty expensive too. <laughs> and are there any other options out there? We we could start a Dying. company. The you three of die. us. <laughs> <laughs> the three of us could start a company right now, and we could say, look. When you're in trouble, I know you want to call 911 and you want to get the the you know, uh, medevac uh, flight to pick you up and bring you to the hospital, trauma hawk or whatever they call it, wherever you are. I know you want to do that. But the Sean Josh Sea Lane Copter is half the price. <laughs> it's it's only $50,000 to deal. get you. Yeah, it's a great deal. Yeah. You're going to save big time money. And instead of calling 911, you just call 811, and we send our folks over there. Mm -hmm. And it's like Undercutter's Pizza. We just have a better deal for you because there's a lot of money to be made here. I will I, personally put pressure on your wound for you during the flight. Yeah, and you would do that for $50,000. Exactly. That's the price of a kidney, for God's sake. These prices don't make sense. A helicopter ride should never cost a hundred and something thousand dollars. It just doesn't add up. How is an Uber twenty bucks and an ambulance ride twenty thousand? <laughs> I understand that it should be more, but I think the amount that it is more is too much. I think it doesn't make sense. There needs to be yeah. a better marketplace here. I mean, uh, you know, I get it. it's like you're paying a lot for the vehicle to be able to run red lights. Uh, mm -hmm. Even though I've had an Uber driver do that. 
<laughs> yeah. You, did you give him five stars? Or, I, I think know how many I did. Yeah. <laughs> See, I would definitely. I'd be like, this is, he felt really bad. This is next level service right here. Um, so I think I, I was like yesterday years old. Whenever I watched this, did you see the footage of the uh, the helicopter that was picking up the pregnant lady from the cruise I ship? Did. Yeah, yeah. Whew. I go, oh, that's right. Most of these cruise ships, I mean, they could perfectly well have this uh, as a thing, but they don't. Most of these cruise ships don't have helipads on them. <laughs> so the, hold on, let me get this right. The cruise ship has determined. That yet another twisty slide is a better option for their cruise ship <laughs> than well, a helipad in well, case I mean, of emergency. Think about, you know, uh, the fact that this is news would lead you to believe that it doesn't happen enough for the fine folks planning the cruise ships to go, you know, eh, how often are we going to use a helipad? Mm-hmm. Versus a twisty slide. <laughs> <laughs> Multicolored with some clear spots in it so you can see the people going through the tubes. Uh, yeah, That's so much in, more fun. Instead, you just have to have this helicopter jut out there 180 miles or whatever it was and then drop a line, mm-hmm. <laughs> drop somebody down there to affix uh, the woman on a stretcher and then you know, just reel her up like a. <laughs> She's swinging around. Oh you're, my gosh! You're, you're worried that this lady has a problem with her, her giving birth. You know, there's an issue with her child. I'm so and you're, surprised you're, she didn't just <laughs> shoot it out there. <laughs> you put then, it's like a, then it's like a sprinkler of blood. <laughs> you put her on a plank and then reel her up to a helicopter. <laughs> this seems like the worst I, possible answer. I watched that video and went, "You couldn't get that." Helicopter any lower? <laughs> Swinging around. <laughs> God almighty. It's, that can't be good. Uh, okay, let's do one more. Here's Swilly talking about an ambulance. Hey, everybody. Happy today. You too. I remember a couple years back, uh, I was on the job. I'm a pool guy. Mm-hmm. And uh, I stepped in a skimmer and it broke my right foot. Ooh. Oh. So I called my boss and I said, I'm, you know, I'm, I got to go to the urgent care. I, I broke my foot. She said, well, you know, call an ambulance. And I said, no, because I know these ambulance rides are expensive as hell. Oh, yeah. So I just had to drive with my left foot all the way to the uh, earth. <laughs> oh, strange. gosh, I'm cringing just thinking about that. So, okay, goodbye. That would be hard, actually. I don't know I if mean, I can do that. Swilly, bud, your boss said call the ambulance. Seems, yeah, maybe it's on you, the boss's You got down. hurt on the job. Seems like something you could have got somebody else to pay for. Here's a, here's another reason why this doesn't make any sense. A helicopter ride is a hundred and twenty thousand dollars, according to our dispatcher. How much is a helicopter? <laughs> Five hundred thousand or something? I should be able to keep the helicopter at the end yeah. of the ride. <laughs> I mean, at a, some point, like when you buy the souvenir cup at Disney, you know you get to keep the cup. <laughs> yeah, I, like it, it does. The financing doesn't make sense. A ride in an ambulance is twenty thousand dollars. Ambulances can't be more than like a hundred grand or something, maybe a hundred and fifty grand at the most to get them outfitted with all that stuff. You'd almost be better suited if you had a real big ass family and get your own ambulance. And you just you truck people off when you need to and get them off to the hospital. But you know, who am I? Who am I to say there's a problem with the system here? <laughs> Keep paying out all those monies. Let's do the stories that didn't make the cut. And guess what? All of them made the cut today, Fred. Seaman was right about Told me not you. doing that. Here goes nothing. Let's do Today I Learned. The following information may make you feel smarter, but will not actually increase your IQ. So don't get cocky. Now it's time for what we call Today I Learned. It is Today I Learned for a Thursday, April 18th, 2024. Today I learned Naomi Campbell, the supermodel, appeared in the music video for this song. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. no, 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 no. Uh, oh, gosh. I played uh, this is, song. Is this love? Is This Love is correct. The music video for Is This Love by Bob Marley. At the time, Naomi Campbell was just seven years old, just destined for fame, I guess, after that. She became one of the biggest supermodels of all time. Today I learned during Prohibition, many wineries would sell shipments of grape juice. They would come with instructions for home fermenting, which was perfectly legal to do at the time. And one of them was Lauren's Winery, but there was all sorts of these places from 1920 to 1933. Oh my gosh, people just made years. hooch. 
Yeah, they made their own hooch, and you would buy the wine juice or the grape juice because that was fine. You were allowed to have that. Here's the grape juice, and then you would have to ferment it yourself to make it so it was the good stuff. Kind of like what the weed thing is, that their little loophole. <laughs> True. To I learn this movie series right here? Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars is correct. No Star Wars movie since Return of the Jedi has won an Oscar despite 20 nominations since then. Not a single one of those nominations was a victory. I don't think I knew that any of the Star Wars movies before won Oscars. No, those are classic movies. They're really great. I yeah, guess. but they're not like eh, they're fine. I, I don't Award think winners. I, I don't think they're the kind of movies that Oscar people like the Academy. You know, I don't mm-hmm. think they uh, they're, they're they're into stuff like that anymore. Here's a weird one. Today I learned schizophrenic hallucinations vary across cultures. Western illusions are usually more violent and harmful from the schizophrenic people. And in the East, there's totally different reactions that people have. So some bit of your upbringing matters to how you're affected with schizophrenia uh, as a youth or an adult. And today I learned this song. Man in Motion. That's right. We love it. Here goes nothing. John Parr wrote the song St. Elmo's Fire to promote a Canadian athlete, Rick Hansen, his wheelchair world tour. And then he said, I know what song I can use for that St. Elmo's Fire movie. I'll use the wheelchair song. And the rest is, of course, history. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. We do appreciate it. We'll be back tomorrow, same time, same place. Miss any of the show, get the podcast over at thenewsjunkie.com. We'll see you later, everybody. Yeah.